contrast tattooing outer space. And your time begins now. All right, buddy, let's do it. I'm gonna grab some gloves. I'll have you stand right here. I'm gonna kick those boys' butts today. Uh, yeah. Originally, my canvas requested three planets and three names. But I convinced my canvas that we are not doing the names. Gian, dummy. Little match made in heaven, Gian, sorry. He thought he was throwing us under the bus. Mm. Gian thought he was giving me one of the worst canvases, and I turned that around. Ryan Stout, you talk that lady out of that Stout, right? Mm -hmm. I will be. That's a little bit. Huh? Oh, this is so good. Oh yeah. This canvas uh, keeps moving around. He is not sitting very well at all. Sorry. Mike's tuned into outer space right now with his canvas. He's a weirdo. I think I'm really. Three hours to go. Yeah, it's a zero black in it, dude. Yeah. It's outer space, bro. If you don't have black, you have contracts. Yeah. My strategy is to just keep winning and solidify my spot in the top five. My report card is great. I've been winning Tattoo of the Day, Flash Challenges, and I've never been in the bottom. Two hours to go. What's your critique? Once I get all my white in. I think if you pull it into like a peachy yellow, peachy yellow in there for the highlight, yeah. I am not that big a fan of Gia's idea. I think Gia bit off way more than she could chew. I'm worried about my technical skills in this tattoo because the chest is a tricky area to tattoo. You get a lot of inflammation. The skull picks are definitely screwing me over. One more hour to go, everybody. my canvas. She was really into a lot of the same stuff that I'm into, like horror stuff. But I decided to take a chance and to make this a colorful space piece. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. It's great. I love the planet. It's perfect. Yo, that's dope. Colors are mad bright. It's awesome, man. Boneface's tattoo is looking really dull. I don't see any contrast at all, and it looks like there's a flying meatball across the front of it. He's a tattooer, and he shouldn't be here. Today, you had to show contrast by tattooing outer space. And Team Nunez, you will serve as the jury of peers. Gian, let's start with you. I think that this tattoo is great. Having this figure in the primarily light spacesuit in front of the dark background, there's no better way to show contrast. One of the things that's troubling with a lot of outer space tattoos is it just ends up with the big areas of black that kind of don't come out that smooth. You did a very minimal space background, but you still have enough black against the outline of this white suit to give the contrast. The details, the outlining, and the creases of the suit are very precise. Nice, soft, smooth shading in all the wrinkles. Overall, man, it's super clean. You definitely hit contrast. Thanks, guys. Nate. First thing about the astronaut is that he just looks a little deflated. It doesn't look like there's really somebody in that suit. Looking for contrast but avoiding black and space, the light source that you put into the suit is really close to the background. So your front shoulder and your hand closest to us in the focal point really blends with the background right behind it. Going apples to apples with Gian, yours is much simpler. I think he gets you on his application, his texture, and his contrast. Matt. I don't like this thing at all. This is just like a big, weird-shaped rainbow with black at the bottom. If you busted the shape up in more of a dotted off pattern that wasn't so stiff and rigid, it wouldn't have that feel. It doesn't at all feel like a space background. Overall, I think it's an eye-catching design. Definitely has a lot of contrast in it. My problem with the tattoo is this moon. It's a little wobbly, and I think you definitely overdid the textures in the moon here. I don't even know if it looks like a moon. Mike. You've hit contrast here. There is some nice areas of darkness in the space, but you've got circles. 
You've got different areas that are geometrically supposed to be parallel and perfect, and they're all a little rough. That dude was weird. He just kept sitting up and moving all around, and he wouldn't sit still. What I don't like is the way you tattooed. It doesn't have that finished look that I'm used to seeing from you. It doesn't have the polish. This is why you don't want to phone those flash challenges in. No, yeah. You're going to get a guy like this if yeah. you do. If I get a skull pick, I'm going to get him. Ryan. A lot of people hit contrast today, but I really think you hit it the best. The top two planets, just the contrast with the light purple, the open highlight, then the black, you really get the idea of contrast to create a shape. I really like the black that you use, even though the rings get a little wobbly. And I think you have a lot of good tricks. Thank you. Looking strong here. Thank you. Gia. Your canvas wanted a new school design? Yes. How did you guys arrive at this? I've never done space before, so I thought I was doing something that was out of the box. I like the digital concept. The tattooing is where it's rough. A lot of the precision, the really straight, strong, clean outlining that you need to make this design work is what you're missing. And not only do you have sketchy line work, you actually just see some of the squares aren't square, some of the lines don't line up. Chests are hard to tattoo, and I lost some of my stencil. Bone face. Do you feel that Gian handed you a difficult canvas? I don't believe in the whole canvas thing because it's not an excuse. You get what you get, so I never bring up canvas. Give me a calf. Bone face, for contrast, it's a tough one. You have all these colors, but it all just looks the same tone. And this comet, it looks like a melting scoop of peach ice cream smeared across the front of the tattoo. <laughs> Technically, you've got a strong tattoo. Your power is smooth color, saturation, and application. I wish your application was on Gia's tattoo. If it comes down to a technical side, you beat Gia, but artistically, you have a lot of holes in the game. I don't like this tattoo. I think it looks like there's no color theory at all. There's no contrast. There's just chaos. I don't like it. Some pretty harsh critiques from Team Nunez. How do you respond to these? I don't feel any type of way. It's the game. All right, Boneface. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Judges, it is time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Final decision. Ryan. My final decision is for Ryan as well. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Ryan. Thank you. Today, you tattooed outer space. And based on your work, one of you will close shop. Team Nunez, why did you vote Gia to the bottom? Technical application. That was the main reason. We think it was a cool idea. She just didn't execute as well as she should have. Were you guys unanimous on that? No. No. With bone faces, it was artistically crippled before it even became a tattoo. I don't think bone face should be in this competition at all, especially after today and how he conducted himself as an artist and as a man. I feel like people are using critiques to hide behind personal issues. When I was down here earlier, she spoke her piece down here. Fine, but I'm not going to allow you to snowball me. I'm going to lash back. Don't make it personal to attack Yours me. Was worse and when than I theirs. lash back, that's your opinion. Everybody else voted for her, so obviously it wasn't. His best tattoos are on par with my worst day. She hasn't done a clean tattoo since she's been here. That is not true. And then you have Matt's tattoo. Haven't even touched on that yet. It's a circle with a weird shape around it in rainbow colors. Honestly, I feel like we've all been so distracted with bone faces and Gia's that I kind of took Matt out of the equation because I feel like he's lacking in both departments that they are. I knew you guys didn't want to see any more like dark, creepy kind of stuff for me. So I have been trying to push myself to show you guys that I can do something different. This is the toughest room to come in if you're not ready for everything. Okay. You could be a new school guy or a Japanese guy or a traditional guy. That doesn't mean anything if we can only see one dimension and you're not giving us a choice. The judges have decided, Matt, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Yes, yes. Artists, you have six hours to tattoo a galaxy in an everyday object. And your time starts now. Come on, Team Clean, let's do it. Come on, guys, let's get this going. Stay straight first. I'm going to take that skin. What do you think of that placement? Yeah, dude, it works perfect. These artists will be tested on technical application with cosmic integration. Did you pull those references for the galaxy for me? Yeah, they're printing out right now. This has to be a pretty smart approach to make this thing work. Reference. Thank you, sir. A lot of people get caught up with doing the colorful explosion in outer space rather than doing the stark black. But when you look up at the stars at night, it's black with shimmers. Are you ready? 
Yeah. If my leg twitches, just ignore it. All right. Hey, icon. I'm glad this piece went to you. No, I am. I'm too. For sure. I know what I can get done and I can't. And I don't really give a about this galaxy. I just want to do this face. I'm going to kill that money. It just looks so dope coming out. This guy's really got the juice right now. Now you got lucky on this one for sure. <laughs> this is going to be black and gray. This is going to be color. Mm -hmm. okay. Pretty much everybody on my team is mad at me, and I genuinely do not care. One of the first things I was told when I started working in a tattoo shop was never trust another artist. I didn't come here to make friends. I'm here to win for myself. I'm going to try and make you proud, Christian. You make you proud, Chris. Four hours left, guys. You're just cruising through this. Look at you. I'm trying. The fact that there's four people not even tattooing means that the chances of us either being in the bottom or going home increase that much more. I like just going and keeping like a negative galaxy, not even going white that much, you know what I mean? No, 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 I wouldn't put a ton That's of white great. There. I need to put the galaxy within the mouth. The mouth is a certain size of a T-Rex. There's nowhere else I could put it. Pull that spiral in a little tighter with oh. some, yeah, you're right. I'm getting into the line. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it enough? I don't know. Where we at? Wipe up here on the top of that line so I can see. I'm gonna pull a little bit of. See, outside of that line? Yep. Austin's tattooing outside of the line with his shading. He needs to fix that or he's gonna be as good as gone. The black that's clearly gone out of the lines. What are you gonna I mean, do I don't, to fix it? I'm not sure. Like, do you have any ideas? You might have to do like some color bursts coming from behind the panther. Don't get flustered, it's plenty of time. What? Plenty of time. This challenge is technical application. I need to figure out how to hide the flaw in my tattoo without making it look like an afterthought. Just smooth the blends out as much as possible. I swear to God, if I'm in the bottom again, I'm going to lose my mind and pull out what little hair I have left. Two more hours, two more hours. Over and watch the brothers. Get right up in their grill. Get your face right down in there. Let them know you're looking at mine. Yeah. I've never tattooed a galaxy before, so I'm so nervous. Can I help you? Nope. Christian's definitely a snake in the grass. They've been targeting me, like, over and over again. You know Christian and smell blood when it's in the water, dude. If it comes in here, I feel bad about telling the and sand. He's trying to get in my head, but I'm not going to let it work. Time won't be an issue at all today? Uh, I don't believe so. I have a passion for tattooing. If I hit the lottery and I didn't have to work the rest of my life, I would still tattoo almost every day. It's not about being fast, it's about being good. That's quality. Jess, he's trying to move, but he ain't moving. One hour remaining, guys. One hour remaining. Something's not right about this. One of the most intimidating things is that I don't have a lot of experience with color, but then again, I don't have a lot of experience at all. I think I would saturate that packet in there because that just looks unfinished. I don't want these other artists in the room knowing that my inexperience affects me in any way. I have to crank this thing out. Five, four, three, two, one, that's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. I love it. Thank you. Ooh, my son, TJ. You like it? Yes. You wanna keep it? Yes, absolutely. So were you guys uh, pretty bummed out that you lost three tattoos yesterday? No, my team didn't fall apart every time we lose. Got out tattooed, it happens. Get used to it. We'll see about that. Today, you had to integrate a galaxy into an object, proving your technical application. Tiffer, Tony, Turk, and Amanda are safe from elimination this week, thanks to their coaches. Team Clean, you're up first. Kyle, let's start with you. Pretty straightforward. 
pretty simple. For this particular challenge, this hits it. Technical application in this tattoo is pretty strong color-wise. Your blends and your transitions of the colors, the sparkles and the little highlights that you get really make this thing come alive. But your line work just isn't consistent. If you go from one tooth and you look three or four teeth over, it does look a little different. You said you were gonna school me on line work, and look at how many busted lines are up there. You had six hours and that's what you produce? Don't school me. All right, Kyle, thank you. Jimmy. It's a cool illustration, for sure. I love this tattoo. It just hits your weird bone and makes you happy. On a technical application day, it looks very on point. The shading throughout, where it's black shading that blends the different color tones, is very nice. The light color really shows how meticulous and how purposeful the black shading is. Does it look like space to me? No. But overall, man, it came out super clean. Austin. First glance this tattoo, it does have an appealing look to it. Simple approach, but your color blends, I don't think really blend. Your pink background across the top should either be a solid all the way to the line or you should leave some sort of halo or something. Austin, was that was that background deliberate or was that because you colored outside the lines? What I think about good tattoo artists is not that they don't make mistakes, is that sometimes they know how to fix those mistakes and make sure that they don't destroy you. Just the idea of putting the pink behind the panther's head makes it look like it's sore. Your flow and how you're gonna put things together is where you're stifled. Team Christian, you're up. TJ. I love this lady. I love the black and gray and the dark richness of this tattoo. Committing to that darkness of a portrait, you gotta really be on. As far as the space aspect, to me it looks more like a satellite image of like a storm system. There's no black in the space. Why does it have to have black space? I mean, because it looks like category five just destroyed my no, house. No, it doesn't. It looks like a nebula. It doesn't have anything that has to do with space. The saving grace this is the fact that she's so beautiful. Tim. So. That is space. It looks like space. It looks like a galaxy. It's amazing how once you put the black in there, you get the look of space. But that tongue is driving me nuts. That strange square frame of space that you have going on in there, the way it cuts off the tongue, super weird. It's a swing and a miss on this one for me. You talk so much for All day, every day. Chris. I love the drawing. It's very slick, very simple. You kill it on solid color saturation, the shading in the horse, top notch. I love your take on space. You made it consistent and illustrative. I think this kid's just starting to realize how good he really is. Well, whatever's happening, the trajectory you're on, keep doing that. Jess. What's going on, guys? Technically, you have some nice application showing the fur, but your color blends, not my favorite on the inside of the space. Too painterly, too indecisive. It's not a conscious plan. I went into it and I wanted it to be really loose. You have these two negative spaces coming from the bottom. It doesn't even look painterly. It looks almost accidental. Angel. It's three separate tattoos, three separate thoughts, not one cohesive drawn design. It doesn't look like a galaxy. It looks like a tie-dye swirl. That's not space. I don't buy it. It's tough because your technical application in a lot of places here is really nice. But a weird tattoo seems like a, a nightmare to me. It's a storm. It is time to pick a winner. Kyle does have a skull made out of space. Well, if you compare these lines to Chris's lines. OK, but then look at Chris's space and look at this space. I like the fact that it's illustrated to match the style of the drawing. I got to stick with Chris. Boom! The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Chris. That means this week, Team Christian, you will form the jury of peers and put one artist up for elimination. You can all head back to the loft. Today, you are being tested on technical application. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Kristen, why did your team vote Kyle to the bottom? We went for technical application. We felt the white was really bad. None of that's punched in. There's black shading on the right flower that comes over the line clearly. You can say, oh, that line's not punched over the in line. because that gray goes over that line a little bit. When that thing heals, that thing's gonna be solid as Chris, you even suggested I get a tattoo of the day. You know? I'm not saying a word. I'm. You being down here for me is like, okay. It's a super solid tattoo. It was the easiest idea. How is it easy? I'm the only one who did the entire thing it's made up a of a 
way Galaxy, that you dude. just, you literally took a line drawing and you colored it with space That's all you did. But he did do space. Yeah, what the f is yours, dude? You did a wolf head in some space. Yeah, I actually tried to do integration. Well, let's move on to your tattoo, Jess. Please do. The whole appearance of the outline on the entire perimeter of this tattoo, there's not a consistent spot within itself. I didn't want it to be one perfectly clean line. But you also I don't it want to it show... to be one clean mess. Would you say that that looks more like a galaxy than Austin's? I think Austin's, if you look at the space, I don't think it's very well thought out how it finishes because the spiral's going one way and then as soon as it hits the panther neck, it's just some going a different way. I mean, galaxies come from infinite. So they're infinite shapes, infinite sizes. Because you haven't seen that one doesn't mean there's not one that looks like that. I think everybody that's gonna look at it is gonna think that it is a galaxy. So let me put you in a position, because both galaxies potentially You can't tell me the technical aspect of the outline on Jess's is good. I think the wolf is beat. The cat face does not have as many anatomical issues as the sideways face of the wolf. The judges have decided. Austin, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You put in everything you had on everyone. For that, I commend you. And you know what you gotta work on. You set them up, you knock them down, everything will fall into place behind that. Thank you. Please pack your machines and close shop. Okay, artists, you have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. I was nervous when she picked the subject because I knew it was going to be something totally crazy because she's definitely from another planet, for sure. Danny is one of the strongest competitors, not only on the girls' team, but in the entire competition. I was, in my mind, I think, making it more difficult than it was. So to be able to defeat her is going to say a lot about my artistic ability. Ever since I could hold a pencil, I was drawing when I was five, and I just never stopped. That's your calling. You knew it was in you, girl. Today, you had to face off in a head-to-head -head battle. Based on your work, half of you will be up for elimination. Danny and Laura. Laura, you called out a new school alien holding a Milky Way galaxy. I really like this illustration, this application of the shading from the line, multiple tones and shades of color from black to open skin is very, very nice. Anywhere you look throughout this head of the alien, you see the color saturation is equal throughout every tone of color, which is the main thing we're looking for today. Let's take a look at Danny's tattoo. The battle at the drawing table is really close. And as far as how you sculpt this image with the color contouring, you do a great job. It's a killer tattoo. It's an incredible rendering. I'm super impressed for throwing this together, having no concept of what this was going to be. I love this battle. I wish this battle was every week. Me too. All right, guys, who wins this head-to-head -head face off? In technical application, Laura looks stronger. If I just look at the head versus Danny's, it's just so clean and so meticulous. Laura's application is really stunning. Laura for the win. The winner of the face off is Laura. That means, Danny, you're up for elimination. All right, guys, what style and subject must the artist facing off tattoo? Black and gray, illustrative, griffin. What is a griffin? I don't <laughs> There's a lot of different versions of the griffin, but the most standard, most recognizable one is a lion body with an eagle's head, eagle front feet, and eagle wings, and then a lion torso, lion rear legs, and lion tail. Jesus Christ. Do you know? No, I've never seen one. Today, you must all tattoo the exact same subject. Seeing your tattoos side by side will make it obvious how your texture stacks up against the competition. Today, you must tattoo a phoenix. A phoenix is a fiery, mythological bird that goes up in flames and rises from the ashes to be reborn. This is gonna be tough. You have feathers, you got flames, you have beaks. We gotta balance all those textures in one piece. Oh, it's awesome. It's going to be exciting. I have so much pressure on my shoulders. Any kind of movement that you may feel you need to do, let me know. I definitely need to redeem myself because I didn't finish the flash challenge. You ready? I'm finishing this tattoo. 
my tattoo. It's got a lot of depth, a lot of texture. You screwed yourself on this one, Josh. You handed me a good one. This guy asked for a realistic Phoenix, and Jimmy's doing a new school vulture on him, proving that he definitely can't handle anything but cartoony work. I picked a very difficult spot. I picked a very challenging design. This is a badass bird. I want to outshine everybody. You had the choice to pick your own canvas, and this is what you ended up with. It looks just like a big, evil red parakeet. That's karma being a bitch. One hour remaining. This lady is my new role model. I want to be 84 years old, getting a bad ass tattoo and sitting like a rock. I'm proving that I can tattoo anything. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. That is it. Time is up. Machine's down. No more ink. All right. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Today, we tossed you into the fire by making all of you tattoo a phoenix, giving us a side-by-side -side comparison of texture. Joshua, let's start with you. When I'm thinking about a phoenix, this powerful, magical creature, this doesn't really do any of that. It looks like an angry cockatiel holding a baby. It's not a baby, that's a man. There's no denying that that's a man. I so. would have to deny that that looks like a man. We all agree we don't like the design. I think you dropped the ball on this one bad. Joey. Good thing about this tattoo is right off the bat, it's a phoenix come out of the flames. Easily readable. I just wish that there was a little more texture in the wings. As far as where you did hit the texture and the flames at the bottom, doing this kind of realistic, deep, hollow pits of black, it's a hard tattoo to pull off, man, and I think you did a good job. Jimmy. Good, clean, solid tattoo, man. The thing about it is that today being texture day, I don't feel like you really gave us those little tricky textures. If I would have shrunk that down about an hour size, I think that's what it would have needed. As far as your technical application, this is the smooth, solid, seasoned tattooer application. It's just done well. Thank you guys for your time. Craig. You're the only one that solidly nailed multiple kinds of texture. The texture you put in the bird itself, the beak, the eye, the teeth, the skull, the feathers, I love this tattoo. You're rising to the top and making people chase you around this competition. Allie. This thing's a mess. The smoke around it, you got a texture out of that smoke, it's just a texture that looks really bad. The little bit of fire that's at the bottom, you can't tell the fire apart from the body. He was pretty stern with what he wanted. You can't blame any of that on one of the clients. The ability to earn the title Ink Master comes into play when you can incorporate that person's ideas, but still make a really good tattoo out of their ideas. Tattoo baby. For anybody to get this client, I'm glad it's somebody that could not overly work their delicate skin. You put a ton of texture in it, and I think you did a great job. One of the things that I do love about this is the way that you did the tail feathers, and you flipped them up, and you did different directions. You took time to plan that out. The detail that you got into this piece looks really great. James. Yes, sir. This week, you are calling the shots. What is the next elimination tattoo? Traditional style Japanese dragon with water. A Japanese dragon is super complicated and has so many rules that you need to abide by. And if one of those elements is missing, you're done. Dragons only. James, why did you choose that? Through all the seasons, everybody's up a dragon. I specialize in it, so see if they can handle it. Is the skin as bad as you thought it was? Oh, the, the skin's bad. Because I lost the weight, is that why? Totally, it's been stretched out. I got the worst canvas of the day because the skin is so fragile. If I'm not careful, it's gonna swell up to the point where I can't tattoo it. Mm. Yeah, right? Burns so bad. It's not very fun. Oh my. Christian and Clean were clearly out to screw me. I'm a threat and they're trying to take me out. So I appreciate you fighting oh through with this. How you doing, buddy? Starting to get a little rough. What a pretty burn. Let me straight, man. Sausage is totally rattled. I almost feel guilty. Almost. I'm pretty sure Sausage is going to eat my face tonight. Oh, is he angry? Oh, he's beyond angry. Sausage should be feeling like a little kid because he's going to get spanked today. Four hours to go. 
definitely stress line work. Trying to throw a bunch of different line weights. A lot of people try to just go bold and keep it that way. I've been tattooing 25 years. I draw Japanese style tattoos all day long. And you got a lot of stuff going on in that thing. I do huge pieces. I, I love it. I'm gonna put claws, scales. Get my damn scale on. Put a little shade in there. Put a little shade in there. That's cool. I got this tattoo in the bag. What up, MJ? Trying to keep it traditional. I knew Japanese day would be hard for me. I studied koi fish, lotus, geisha, everything except for a dragon. Okay. I'm kind of shooting in the dark. Doing good. Got a bunch of tricks in my sleeve. There's a lot of rules when it comes to traditional Japanese. And you know what? I do my own thing. I got this one in the bag, man. <sighs> Definitely being pushed today. I'm totally freaking out. I do not do any sort of Japanese art. I don't draw it, I don't tattoo it, I don't study it, I don't look at it. Chris, don't focus on the face. I mean, everything else looks like, um, what the happened? James Bond has been tattooing for over 20 years. I've only been doing this for five. I need more black in here. I'm trying to figure out where. I so would not do it on that way, dude. Traditional tattoos are really easy to mess up. But you're not going to do that. Two hours to go, everybody. Let's take this last stab at it, OK? Oh. My canvas is really feeling the pain. He's kind of jostling around in the chair. This is not making it easy for me to do these really smooth blends that I need to nail. God damn it. I got none left. I'm screwed. Sound like a rattlesnake over there. I can smell death on Japanese day. This is going to be an absolute <laughs> show murder fest. <laughs> Everybody's freaking out, except for James. He looks fine. I think I put enough scales in the seat. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get this thing finished or not. Why did I put so many scales in this? I just wanna saw my canvas's leg off and throw it straight at Chris Nunez. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. Machine's down. No more ink. That's amazing. Thank you, man. The dragon is absolutely awful. There is not one redeeming quality about this tattoo. Sausage is going home, and I'm the boot that kicked him out the door. Today, James Vaughn challenged you to the ultimate test of legibility, a Japanese dragon with water. Let's start off with clean. In terms of legibility, I do like this tattoo. A lot of times with dragons, it's difficult to see what's going on until you get right up on it. This one from a distance, it's clearly a dragon. It's a pretty killer tattoo. But there's entirely too many white, shiny points of this tattoo for traditional Japanese. This thing was approached like a new school tattoo. I've seen a lot of traditional Japanese guys use white. I'm saying the way you super gloss this new school shine on every scale in here, having a little bit more knowledge on how to make this thing look like a Japanese tattoo would have helped out today. These are all things that I, you know, I don't, I don't know. You're supposed to know. Christian. Right out of the gate, the position of the ear is way off on this thing. You want the ear to be up closer towards the back of the eye, this section here. The positioning of the ear immediately throws off your anatomy in the face. Great idea to throw the cherry blossoms in the areas that you have a problem. It's an old comic book trick. Can't draw it, hide it. Yeah, that's the beauty of this stuff is it is loose and it is flowing. Where you have a weakness, white cap if you don't know. Later, safe. Maddie. The legibility is the issue because you have so many turns and so many twists that are not lining up. I don't know that I would have done the belly the same color because you're making it more camouflaged. If I did do spines a different color, all of the mistakes you're pointing out to me would be emphasized. So what are you gonna do? The weird section to this is the back hips that you did. Just a tiny little tail coming out. You just put a big dog butt on the top of this tattoo. It's very awkward. Jesse. The word Frankenstein comes to mind when you get to the spine and where the spine is in reference to where the belly is. If you see that much belly, it would be impossible to see that much spine. Your backbone is gonna be here and your belly just like you. Anatomy can never be an afterthought. On there, you really kind of miss the boat. Jimmy. This tattoo, it's all head. You're missing the strength of the body in the thickness. If you do things too small, you're playing it really safe. And I didn't want to just go up there with like a little head. Where this head could be more along the line of Japanese is making the beard full on the chin. Just with a stronger beard, it would be tougher. It's going to look a lot better. 
Anthony. You get a lot of your feel from the tattoo from the first glance, and it has a strong dragon standout dynamic pose, but to make it all make sense is where you show your weakness. Where the water comes over the claw at the bottom right here, there's nothing to show me the connection from that shoulder down to the claw. You needed more water to make it look like that claw was really coming out of something, and then let your body disappear. If you don't know how to make the connection, you gotta hide it. Megan Jean. I think your design's rigid. You have a lot of different scale patterns going on in your tattoo. And it's a big thing that we see go really wrong here. Some of them will run a certain way, some of them have a certain distance, and you have really rigid water. Japanese is not my specialty. Water is something that is prevalent in more than Japanese tattooing. It's really rough when you see somebody that's a really high gloss tattooer not know how to do water or not know how to do scales. Sausage. The legibility of this tattoo is lost just in the way you shaded it. You put black right up to the edge of the dragon and then black right inside the dragon. The same tones inside the head as there are outside the head, it makes it overall messy. The problem with skin that has weight loss, it's much harder when it's deflated. That being said, you do have some anatomy issues. The neck is so thick and then you really taper down to this thin body. It makes it seem like the head is way in the foreground and the rest of the dragon's way off in the background. Your big downfall is the drawing. James. From the head all the way to the top, the flow of the spine, I love that. And the really nice scaling that you did and the way that the plates fall over each other on the turns. Overall, man, you definitely show off and do a lot of great things in this. Where's the face? Which part of the body is which part of the body? When you back up on this thing five feet, what the is going on with it? You have that eyebrow, and then the spine of the other body come around is directly right where that eyebrow is. Then you got the nose, and where the body comes off the nose is perfectly right off that nose with the same green. You lost it on legibility for me today. All right, guys, it's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Every one of them has challenges. Which one would I side with? James, just because it's the most comprehensive background and foreground. Anthony and clean. Anthony's is very simple, big dynamic head, claws, nice water, clean tattoo, big, solid, bright, bold. I'm not swaying. So you, final decision, James, James Vaughn. I like Anthony's tattoo, but I see a lot of the same tonal values going throughout it. So for that reason, my firm vote is for clean. Which way are you leaning, bud? I'm going with clean. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to clean. Judges, it's time to decide who is going to be packing their machines. Of the four that are down here, Maddie's might be the most legible of the four. Because the actual application is still appealing to the eye. And Jimmy, I don't like the composition, but I can still see it. It's a bigger, simpler design. It's a smart move if you're not familiar with the style to go simpler. Are we talking between Megan Jean and Sausage yeah. right now? Both have problems with legibility. As far as the Japanese dragon goes, Megan, your execution's cleaner, but yours is really camouflaged. Sausage, I commend you for the application and for everything that went in, but the anatomy fails you. Final decision. Megan's has fallen short for me. It's hard to tell what's going on, and it doesn't hit the real traditional Japanese. When I look at Megan Jean's tattoo, it appears cleaner to me. My vote is for sausage. Chris. Megan Jean. Damn. The judges have decided. Megan Jean, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Honestly, it was really, really close. Megan Jean, please pack your machines and close shop. Today, you must tattoo a mythological creature of the sky. A Pegasus. <sighs> Damn. Damn. There's so many little things in a Pegasus that have to be completely right. Just capturing that look and the majesty of a big, solid stallion is hard enough. But adding wings adds a whole different level of complication. To save yourself from elimination, you must have a solid strategy and trust in your team. Because today, you must tag team. You will create one tattoo on the same canvas. <laughs> Of course. Only one of you can tattoo at a time, and you must switch artists every hour. Give me a break. Hell yeah. Cool. After yesterday's challenge, we're keeping it simple. We picked a statue reference, and we're doing it exactly like that statue. Oh, look at that. That's mostly a clean line. I know how to run.
Lies, like oh, I'm yeah, telling you those yeah, needles. I know you know how to run your mouse. All right, you have five hours remaining. Five hours to go. Switch. Sweet. Solid and bulletproof, and that looks dead on. If you get uncomfortable, you let me know, all right? I'm making sure I get two turns in this tattoo. I'm gonna make sure I can come back at the end and notice any issues with it and clean them up. We're gonna win this one for sure. You have four hours to go, guys. Switch artists. Perfect. There you go. It's grueling right now in this competition. Well, you've been away from your family for weeks. Give me the outer line. Give me that. Draw that line in yeah. before you tattoo it. When I was going through my divorce, five months, I didn't get to see my kids. A year and a half, I had to go through court to be able to get soul custody of my children. They're my blessing, my life, my everything. To make my time away from my family worth it, I need to win. You have three hours to go, guys. Switch artists. Damn. If you're smart, you're going to let the coach go first and last. Exactly. No, 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 it's not there. Then no. you can fix it when you get in there, because I don't see what okay. you're saying. Yeah, I'm, leave, I'm, it. leave it to Beef. Yeah. I never oh. underestimate his team. He has a <laughs> motive. This is your final hour. Switch it up. Why aren't you finishing? Because I tattooed once. So we didn't decide as a team. These guys got to learn a tattoo under pressure. I am purposely only taking one turn on this tattoo. DJ's got a big ego. He's going to tattoo twice, man. Whatever. Obviously, you don't trust your team. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Dude, that looks like a cool horse. What do you guys think? I think it's stunning. Cool. Yeah, so what do you think, bro? It's pretty small. I'm feeling bummed out on this tattoo. The wings are weird. The Pegasus is too dark. And it looked clean. You can read it from across the room. You know, it's a little dark. I think it looks good, dude. The overall design is weak. We're in trouble. Today, you had to tag team tattoo side by side with your coaches. The team with the best tattoo of the day will be safe from elimination. Let's see how you did. Team Steve, you're up. The back of this horse for me is very questionable. The shape of that hind leg doesn't look like it has the strength that's gonna hold this thing up. I just went off the anatomy of a real horse. The connection of the wings to the horse don't appear to be the same on each side. The wing on the right side of the tattoo looks like it's a lot lower and coming down a different part of the horse than where the wing is connected on the other side of the tattoo. It looks like it's pieced together. Team DJ, you're up. Overall, it has that smooth, buttery feeling. It looks consistent. It looks like one artist did it. The only part of this tattoo that I wish was a little bit stronger are the wings. I feel like the wings are a little bit small for this big, heavy gentleman. It looks like a chrome hood ornament. It definitely has that figurine look. You could have added a lot of motion to this tattoo and outreach the rear legs. If nothing else, just make that tail look like it's flowing in the wind, but showing some smooth, soft, lightly shaded areas. That's one of the things that your competitors kind of missed out on today. All right, judges, it is time to pick a winner. Which team did the best tattoo of the day? If we go shading for shading, wing per wing, Team DJ outshines them. Vote for Team DJ. Team DJ. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Team DJ. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, guys. Today, we must tattoo mermaids. Oh, man. You must use artistry to seamlessly transition from the delicate facial features and hands of a woman to the intricate, scaly tail of a fish. Mermaids have scale work, fins that flow, bodies, they're supposed to be sexy, and you have to do small faces on them. Ugh. Just listen to what he wants. Don't say, I don't do realism, I don't do, don't say anything like that. Take what he wants and show him a good drawing. That's it. I'll do my best. I have more faith in you than I have in your brother. Right. And that's why you got this. I think you got a couple of clear shots at that. It was too easy. Nobody gets that Tiffer is playing the long game. He's trying to take out his own competitors. He doesn't think I'm on to him, but we're all on to him. What are you trying to get out of the tattoo? What um, style? I want it to be like beautiful, Okay. realistic. Well, if it's realistic, I would definitely have to go with black and gray. 
just for the ribs, you know what I mean, and, and the time, there's no way I could do it with color, you know what I mean? We have six hours to do this tattoo and on your ribs. You know uh, that, right? I've seen you do it, though. No, <laughs> you haven't. Yeah. This is my career. I fought my entire life just to get this opportunity. I'm not about to let this guy throw it all away because he has some crazy ideas. Turk, how's it going? Pretty good. Would like your eyes on it. We got. How big are you going to do it? This size? Yeah. This little tiny stuff? Breaks up that straight line. Yeah, but you're breaking up a simple straight line for one that is already crazy, and you're putting bullets in the gun. That's what you're doing. Simplify. Well, no, my, my thing is, is that if you look at it and the first thing you're saying is that thing makes it look weird, then that thing is gone. Think smart, man. Don't shoot your foot if you don't, you don't have to. I'm into it. Those little lines in our face are super nice. Thanks, dude. I love Tiffer to death, and I know he's coming from a good place, but he screwed us. TJ hasn't done one single tattoo that his canvas has actually came in and said he wanted. My canvas originally asked for a colored gothic mermaid, but not only am I a pretty good black and gray artist, but I'm probably a better sweet talker. He's doing black and gray too. Tim Kling hates the fact that I change color to black and gray pretty much every time. I actually really like this thing. I especially like that contrast, how it just pops. I'm just trying to play this smarter, not harder. Deepening up that part, like you said. Okay. And I brought a little bit more flesh tone in, not a lot. Okay. All right. Not enough to uh, make yeah. it weird. Yeah, don't get too crazy, crazy. The judges in Clean have been hammering me on going overboard in all of my designs. So I'm just going to reel in my artwork and literally let Clean take the wheel from here on. All I have to do is everything I'm told so that I can get to the damn finale. You have four hours left, four more hours. Amanda. Keep it simple and solid. There's a couple of jacked up pieces showing up. Okay. The fact that I have two mermaids, it means that I have two tails, two sets of scales, and they have to be sitting on top of each other. I'll be straight honest, that I don't love is the negative spacing in the tail. I need to make sure that both of these tails read well, but also have the separation so they don't get lost between each other. Make sure it's super clean if you're gonna do that. What I thought was gonna be an, a simple, easy tattoo is turning out to be a nightmare. I know what, you got it. I ain't worried about you. This is your final hour, everybody, final hour. How's my skin? Um, I'm an old <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's just you have to be really careful with it so it doesn't split because it's like really thin. My canvas originally wanted a color realistic mermaid on his ribs. I finally got him to agree to a black and gray semi-realistic mermaid on his leg. I'm just gonna go grab another needle. But my canvas is still a complete grenade. Got a canvas today. Thanks, Tiffer. Of all people, I, like, why would he give that to you? It sucks to see my brother struggle. I just can't, like, I can't pack it solid. My whole life, I've kind of been in Jimmy's shadow. We haven't really had the best relationship growing up. It's crazy. We finally hit that point where we're on the same page, and we understand each other, and we respect each other. And now, one of us could be going home. Looks good, man. Thanks, dude. Right now, it's all about survival. I just need to put everything that I have into this tattoo and make it work. If he goes home, I don't know how I'm going to be able to get through this. Four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Woo! Yeah! Alrighty, hun. We are all done. Moment of truth. Oh, dude, that's killer. Did a lot better than I thought you were going to do. I'm worried. What are you worried about? The application, the saturation of it, because I can only do one, two passes tops. Relax, dude. You are stressing out a little too much. I'm worried. You ain't going home, bro. Today, you had to tattoo a mermaid to prove your artistry. Team Clean, let's start with you. Tony. That's a rough one, man. This is the drawing of the hair itself. It looks like that hair is spinning off of that flower. It doesn't really look like it's attached to her head. The way her shoulder bends over to her neck with that fin coming off the back, it looks like very strange anatomy. 
You have the one fin that sticks off underneath her butt cheek and just kind of just sticks straight out. Looks very awkward. The composition, the artistry on this one is not balanced. It's not harmonious. This one is definitely a hit for you. Jimmy. Your silhouette on this is just not flattering. She's not curvy in the right place. The width of the hips to the width of the tail and how drastically it just becomes that little thin noodle in the back and then how huge the fin is. She's got a massive neck, a huge block jaw. Everything on here is just kind of a fight within itself. Everybody today struggled, but this one chose a lot. Dirk. Risky move to choose this pose, but you pulled it off really well. I commend you for not doing an archway that she's looking off into with a <laughs> castle behind it, because I know it was on your mind, I'm sure. Yeah. I really like the illustration of the hair. Shape of the body is nice. You keep a very consistent line weight through this, and the color saturation is really nice. Well, you guys said punch it up, man, and I'm listening. 100% my favorite tattoo you've showed us so far. Thank you. Best tattoo on your team. Team Christian, you're up. TJ. Beautiful work in the shading of her torso. Beautiful work in the face of the eel. Then you get up to this crown that's lost in a sea of just craziness with black shading and then a black background behind it. The background's not black, it's gray. It's not smooth. Doing this hair in this style on this part was a bad choice. I tattooed this way. It's just messy. How's that messy? There's blends in there that nobody else is gonna do. The problem that I have with the hair is simply this. The outline of the eel goes all the way back to the side of her head and behind her ear. It looks like the eel's wearing fur coat or whatever the it is. This hair needed to come over the top of the eel completely, and that would have changed the entire look. There's areas of this tattoo that are phenomenal. If you can do that eel to look like that, and you can make that mermaid face that's the size of my goddamn pinky look like that, then just finish it out. Your backgrounds are gonna eat you up. That's gonna send you home. It's coming one way or the other, Christian, and that's no, the guy. I, I, I get you. That's probably who you should be protected. I'm not gonna give you a background no more. You're getting outlines all day. Amanda. The cleanliness of the tattoo is nice. The outline is very consistent, but the face is very strange. The shading is pretty patchy. She looks beat up. The mom looks like she's missing an arm. The baby looks like she's missing a hand. You can see that you brought the outline through the hair in the bottom, then have her hand holding on to the anchor. Have the mom clutching the baby. It's armless, handless. It's a major anatomy problem. All right, guys, who had the best tattoo of the day? Well, do you see anybody besides TJ and Turk? Definitely the nicest color play Turk's done so far. It looks finished, it looks clean, it looks saturated. TJ's tail's better than most tails. The face is better than most any face. I need a final decision. My vote's for Turk because I like Turks, but it's also sending a message to go simple. You're right there. I'm going with Turk. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Turk. Okay, judges, time to determine who's going home. Amanda's tattoo is missing limbs. I can't back the anatomical issues. Are you voting Amanda home? Yeah, I'm voting Amanda Holy home. When I look at all three tattoos, Jimmy's is the least appealing. My vote's for Jimmy. My vote's for Jimmy. The judges have decided, Jimmy, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I just want to thank you because I've learned a lot from all your critiques this entire competition. I think you killed it, man. You took a swing and I think you at least hit it. I think you did great, man. Please pack your machines and close shop. <laughs> South and East, all of you are up for elimination. Here we go Hi. again. You'll have one last chance to prove your creativity by facing off against each other. <laughs> oh. Damn it. But this time, the power is in the hands of your competition. Midwest, you will assign the style that everyone must tattoo in the face-off. And West, you'll assign the subject. Oh, oh damn. Oh, no. This, what do you think? I kind of want to see him slimming out in tradition. That's what I was thinking. Fairies. It's in the fairy. It's a pinup wink. Midwest, what style must they tattoo? We decided that they're going to tattoo American Traditional. West, what subject must they tattoo? Full-bodied fairies. Bastards. All right. Full-bodied American Traditional fairies, and this face-off is set. Tomorrow, you'll have six hours to tattoo, and based on your work, one of you 
will be packing your machines. Good luck. The Midwest definitely threw me a bone here. This is what I do at home every day. So I need to make sure I kill it. Simple, clean, doing what I do best, but also giving myself enough time to work with my team. Have you always been into some form of art? I painted for about a decade. And you know, I've always loved tattoos. I've collected tattoos since I was a teenager. I had a lot of issues being comfortable in my body. And for me, like tattooing was just like, well, let me just like throw beautiful things all over myself. Coming off the past couple days, working with my teammates, I feel really positive for the first time. And I think that I can use that to my advantage and do a great tattoo. Which parts are you having trouble with the most? Whipping that out? Mm -hmm. Make sure you're black. It's packed solid as We have our own American traditional fairy on our team, and his name is Jimmy Snass. How are you doing? He's sprinkling his knowledge on us, and we'll be fine. Think she's a bad bit? Mm -hmm. Trying to make you proud. I'm on your team. I can't just do your style and shit. <laughs> Here he is. Just like when you have a beautiful sunny day, and then just out of nowhere, a Storm comes. How would you have any friends in school? I didn't have any friends in school. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. All right. Three hours to go, people. Three more hours of tattooing. I'm kind of pissed off about the last challenge. I felt like that our tattoo was the most creative. So with this design, it's basically like a big <laughs> you. You did get away with not having to draw hands or feet. Yeah, he got away with it for sure. <laughs> I'm doing a four-titty cock horse fairy. The bottom's going to be a horse. The middle's gonna be a woman, and the top's gonna be a rooster. I put an extra set of breasts on this tattoo because it's all the anatomical issues with Jimmy's, so I figure I'm just gonna double up the challenge and make sure that I hit it better than he did. Like, I was having issues with her hair, but then I wanted to make her look a little more Hispanic. She's beautiful. My whole body's going this way, and, and then suddenly the legs turn weird. Take a second. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm definitely gonna make sure you turn the right way. Trying to hit the challenge, that's all. No more, no less. This is probably one of the biggest opportunities in my career that I've had. I'm tattooing for my life in this competition. To have all that weighing on my mind right now, it feels like a, a vice grip is on my head. Mike's drawing. It's up. Yeah? It's like a pinup in a blender. <laughs> like... Final hour, guys. Final hour of tattooing. It's always the end that hurts the worst. I know. My canvas's skin is starting to welt up. You got like little top layers of skin just kind of peeling off. If you're from the South, welt would be when your mama busts your ass with a hickory. This is becoming a nightmare for me. How you doing, buddy? You got some pretty sensitive skin, though. I have too much to lose. My name is on the line. My family, I'll be damned if I'm going to go home on this tattoo. No more ink. Your line work is amazing. Just watching you draw those lines, so steady and bold. Love Thank it. you. Oh, man, I love it. Dude, you're a <laughs> rock. I tried. I appreciate you being a sport. Let me do something crazy like this. Very unique. <laughs> Today, the South and the East had to face off against each other, tattooing an American traditional fairy. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Here you go. East. Let's start with you. Jessa. It is a very traditional style illustration. I like that it has a lot of rich contrast. It has a punch to it. I like the style of hair that you do here. Coloring this in black, it gives it a nice graphic feel and shape. But if you're going to use a bright red, why not use bright green and bright yellow? If you're doing American traditional, a muted color palette isn't really the classic way of doing it. Jimmy. All right. Go, Jimmy. I really like the illustration. I love the features you put on her to give her a fairy-esque look with the ears and the real straight nose. The line work throughout this thing is super clean, super sharp. What really shines is the amount of open skin. Everything in the foreground is lit. It's beautiful. Remember that traditional tattoos were done when 40 people were waiting in a line. It was about moving fast and efficient. You definitely deliver here. 
It's a good job. Thank you. If you dropped them all, I'd be really surprised. Yeah, absolutely. First bit of critique. OK. I do see a big turn in you. You're definitely tattooing a lot better than where you started with us. Yeah, the past couple days, just being able to make tattoos with my team was really great. A lot of great color saturation in here, but this outline is super thin. And she has a little bit of a flat face, but you show a lot more promise in being solid and being clean. Thank you. Good It's getting ready to get real. South, you're up. Money Mike. Anatomically, this thing is very, very strange. Arms don't grow from here. It's kind of weird what's exactly going on with the anatomy. She's twisting up a little bit. Your outlines, we can see the drag lines of each needle as opposed to being one solid line. Also, the application of that green, not very smooth. You went over a little bit too much. That's why you're getting that rough texture. Patrick. The illustration, I like it. The anatomy of the girl looks nice. Sitting on the moon looks nice. But it does get rough in a lot of areas. The lines in the hair look rough. The line by her neck is really, really beat. A lot of problems here with trauma with the skin. I, I'll be honest, man, I've never had an issue like this before. It just was not as good skin as I thought it was going to be. Every time the skin is the issue, it's not always the skin yeah. that's the issue. Jordy. I really love the position of this pinup, but the face got away a little bit. It just doesn't look proportionally right. It's pretty wild looking, but you do pull off a very traditional feel and you do pull off a lot of solid saturation. Overall, it's a clean tattoo. Jason. We did say creativity. Four titty chicken goat. <laughs> Just weird and funky, and it looks like you had a fun time with this. Good one-pass line, solid black whip, solid color. It's a strong tattoo. Thanks. Now, I risk time reward. I think it looks cool. I like it. All right, judges, it is time to determine who's going home. I would say that my bottom picks all live in the south. So can we all agree that the east is safe? I do. Thanks. Mike. And Patrick? Patrick's tattoo, it's beat. It's just so overworked. I will, I will disagree with it being overworked. Go ahead. There's trauma areas, but I don't, I don't think the whole tattoo's overworked. Drawing for drawing, I'd rather have Patrick's the girl on the moon. It's just too beat, man. My vote to go home is for Patrick. Regrettably, Patrick. The judges have decided, Patrick, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. This competition has been a roller coaster. You did some really killer work in here, and you should be proud of that. So head up. I came in here with my head held high, and I'm going to walk out with my head held high. Please pack your machines and close shop. I appreciate it. I love you, brother. All right, guys, what style and subject must the artist facing off tattoo? Black and gray, illustrative, griffin. What is a griffin? I don't there's a lot of different versions of the griffin, but the most standard, most recognizable one is a lion body with an eagle's head, eagle front feet, and eagle wings, and then a lion torso, lion rear legs, and lion tail. Jesus Christ. No, I've never seen one. How's it going, buddy? Good, man. We got that black and gray, just like you like it. We walk in the park today. This is like 50-50, throw me a bone, and screw me at the same time. Finally get to do some black and gray, but I hate fantasy art. You're even having me sick looking, like. I just wanted to go bold. Compared to the other drawings in the room, you're really on. Here we go again, the only one on my team, back in the bottom. And this face-off is the toughest challenge yet. I've got three veterans who are all solid tattooers. Jarrell's one tattoo of the day a couple of times. Not everything in life is easy. Sometimes fear is a good thing. You know, you got to face your fears head on. My last tattoo, me and him faced off. My canvas walked out. You know, he had like a had to show a half finished tattoo, and that's so brutal. I know I'm a strong competitor. The only reason that I am in the bottom is because my canvas walked out, not because of my technical ability. So I just walked in, I saw this drawing, and I was like, yes! <laughs> we had the power to, you know, choose what they were going to do, and felt like Drill got robbed last time, so, you know, we wanted to do something like 
black and gray, which is his strength and stuff. Yeah, so thank you guys for that. I appreciate it. This is my time to shine. I'm gonna kill it. Four hours remaining. You have four hours remaining. What are you usually like tattooing? I usually do more of like um, abstract kind of surrealism sort of. Ever since I got pardoned, I've just felt like I've had to restrain myself and just put out work that I wouldn't ordinarily be happy with. I'm tired of man. I want to do a tattoo that I walk away and I'm proud of. Ooh, look at you, Jason. The tricks. I'm feeling pretty confident that overall, it's the most dynamic drawing that has been done so far in this competition. Did you see the other drawings? Jimmy's is damn near close to traditional. It's like super flat. Like, you guys are drawing in three dimensions, and he's drawing in two. There's a lot of pressure on me right now, because if I go home, it could hurt the Midwest, it could hurt the East, it could hurt our alliance. How's it looking? Looks good. This is not a traditional tattoo. This has outlines. That's it. You know? Jason and Raul need to go home. And as far as I'm concerned, it's my job to get rid of these mother Two hours remaining, everybody. Two more hours. I feel like Frank put a little too many detailed lines in the wings. Yeah. Team West is talking so much shit. His is hard to read. Yeah. It's really hard to shake him. And now I'm having feelings of doubt. Angel and Bob walking around and looking like shit. Nerve wracking. Yeah, the snakes. Oh, yeah, they are. As long as we're here tomorrow and they're not, I'll be okay. This tattoo has to be the best tattoo in the room because I want to stay. Machines down, no more ink. This tattoo is sick. I mean, yeah, it looks it's awesome, sick. man. Look at it. Hell yeah, this thing's killer. <sighs> How do you feel, man? I'm just feeling deja vu. The, from the last face off, the three of us. When we sent Jason home, that one? Yeah. I mean, I think the biggest difference between this face off and the last one is now Jason doesn't have a safety net. Well, two people are going home today, and I know two of them that are safe is me and Jarrell. Who the other two are, that's on you guys. Today, the five of you had to face off for your survival. And you were being tested on technical application. Based on your work, two of you will be packing your machines. Let's see how you did. Jarrell, let's start with you. You do have some smooth shading in here. Your outline looks very clean. It's very legible to what it is. You can see the wings, you can see the head, you can see the legs, you can see the arms. You have one of the most flattering overall silhouettes today. Thank you. You got a good critique. Next up is Jimmy. The drawing for me is tough. That tail tucked makes him scared. If you see any animal that's rearing back from something, it tucks the tail and it shows fear, and then you have the hands posed down instead of out. It doesn't look ferocious enough. But I will say, on technical application day, you do have a lot of really clean outlines, and you do have a lot of rich black, and all your shading is very uniform throughout this entire tattoo. It does look very smooth, but the overall look of the image is a bummer. Next up is Jason. I do love the head. I think you have the best drawn head. Your claws and your paws are cool. I was just trying to make it cool. Griffin, and I was just going for fantasy art. The steamy steam hair that's coming off of everything definitely gives me the inference of mystical magical. But you also have some messy stuff, where the chest and the shoulder turn into the wing. It's just all guesswork what's really going on right here. Some mag drag, some light wash lines, some real shaky little lines, dynamic drawing, but it gets pretty out of control. So much for artistry. Raul. I do like the face. It looks tough. I also do like that front claw that's open. You see the talons, you see the strength, you see the grip in it. You do get some soft gray shading in the rock, but in the body, you don't really get that softness anywhere. And it's a shame because the whole front neck and the whole front chest just get so blacked out. All these little shapes that are underneath the throat here, you see a lot of messiness. Next up is Frank. 
you're one of the few people today that gets the proportions on the front legs and the back legs correct. And this dynamic pullback in that front leg is really beautiful. But it's not a really strong silhouette because it is kind of balled up. It's a weird body position to choose to try to show what's going on. And for translation to a tattoo, you need a lot of contrast to let each part of this body look visible. You look at the hind legs, I can just see shading that just kind of, instead of looking smooth, like it fades from one area to the other, it just looks rough. It just looks sketched in. It just gets real messy. I told you it was going to be a tough one today. My heart's invested in this, and I want to make sure that we make the most proper decision we can make. I'm looking at drawing, and I'm looking at application. Strictly from a technical application standpoint, Jimmy had, like, the most solid outline today. I came down here to send Jimmy home on this drawing. I dislike the tail tuck. I dislike the appendages. But when you talk about application, the shading is applied very consistently. Jimmy and Jarrell, they're safe today just on cleanliness. The reason Jimmy edged himself out is because at least it's legible. <laughs> That's crazy how this turned. So Jarrell and Jimmy are safe. All right, it's time to determine the first artist to pack their machines. Rolls falls pretty short. I can find shining examples of nice work in this tattoo, so don't get me wrong. But if we look close at the wing, I see outline problems, I see black saturation problems, and I see shading problems. My vote for Raul. Raul. The judges have decided, Raul, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. This has been one hell of an experience. I just want to say, boys, Daddy's coming up. Please pack your machines and close shop. It's time to determine the second artist that's going home. This next one's going to be tough. Frank and Jason up for elimination. I came in here thinking that Jason had tattoo of the day, and I am literally flip-flop to wanting to send him home. Over this drawing? It's not the drawing, man. It's the tattooing. The head and the claws do not match the rest of the tattoo. I love this drawing the most. Zoom into just the chest and look at the chest like this. You couldn't tell me that's feathers. Right, but the years. idea of a tattoo isn't to look at a part of it. It is for me. If, as a I boss and an owner of a shop, I would. I understand, but I will say the one silhouette that I have a hard time with is Frank's. I don't know what it is when I'm looking at it. So for that reason, my vote's for Frank. But application, we say all the time, is first and foremost in everything you do. With that being said, my mind is made up. Jason. My vote's for Jason. The judges have decided, Jason, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You're an amazing artist, man, but you're just not the play it safe kind of guy. My hat's off to you. Thanks. Please pack your machines and close shop. Artists, this is your last chance to save yourself from elimination. You have six hours to tattoo an American traditional fairy, and your time starts now. All right, here we go, brother. Let's go. All right, let's do this. Go bigger, go home, right? Yep. Final round of the marathon, east and the south. Every man for himself, they have to tattoo American traditional fairies. You good? I think I'm ready. <sighs> Basically, we're looking at pinups. And traditionally in this competition, pinups are hard. The saving grace on that is that fairies are a mythological creature, so if you do a more standard looking pinup with wings, we're gonna get you on proportion and anatomy. But if you go a little wild with it, it's up for debate. I would wear this. I've never seen anything like it. The Midwest definitely threw me a bone here. This is what I do at home every day. So I needed to make sure I kill it. Simple, clean, doing what I do best, but also giving myself enough time to work with my team. 
have you always been into some form of art? I painted for about a decade. And you know, I've always loved tattoos. I've collected tattoos since I was a teenager. I had a lot of issues being comfortable in my body. And for me, like tattooing was just like, well, let me just like throw beautiful things all over myself. Coming off the past couple days, working with my teammates, I feel really positive for the first time. And I think that I can use that to my advantage and do a great tattoo. Which parts are you having trouble with the most? Whipping that out? Mm -hmm. Make sure your black is packed solid as We have our own American traditional fairy on our team, and his name is Jimmy Snass. How are you doing? He's sprinkling his knowledge on us, and we'll be fine. Think she's a bad bit? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make you proud. I'm on your team. I can't just do your style and shit. <laughs> Here he is. Just like when you have a beautiful sunny day, and then just out of nowhere, a Storm comes. How'd you have any friends in school? I didn't have any friends in school. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. All right. Three hours to go, people. Three more hours of tattooing. I'm kind of pissed off about the last challenge. I felt like that our tattoo was the most creative. So with this design, it's basically like a big you. He did get away with not having to draw hands or feet. Yeah, he got away with it for sure. <laughs> I'm doing a four titty cock horse fairy. The bottom's going to be a horse. The middle's going to be a woman, and the top's going to be a rooster. I'm putting an extra set of breasts on this tattoo because it's all the anatomical issues with Jimmy's. So I figure I'm just going to double up the challenge and make sure that I hit it better than he did. Like, I was having issues with her hair, but then I wanted to make her look a little more Hispanic. She's beautiful. My whole body's going this way, and, and then suddenly the legs turn weird. You know? Take a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to do just trying to hit the channel, that's all. No more, no less. This is probably one of the biggest opportunities in my career that I've had. I'm tattooing for my life in this competition. To have all that weighing on my mind right now, this feels like a, a vice grip is on my head. Mike's drawing. It's up. Yeah? It's like a pinup in a blender. <laughs> Final hour, guys. Final hour of tattooing. It's always the end that hurts the worst. I know. My canvas of skin is starting to welt up. You got like little top layers of skin just kind of peeling off. If you're from the South, welt would be when your mama busts your ass with a hickory. This is becoming a nightmare for me. How you doing, buddy? You got some pretty sensitive skin, man. I have too much to lose. My name is on the line. My family, I'll be damned if I'm going to go home on this tattoo. is up. No more ink. Your line work is amazing. Just watching you draw those lines so steady and bold. Love Thank it. you. Oh, man, I love it. Dude, you're a <laughs> rock. I tried. <laughs> I appreciate you being a sport. Let me do something crazy like this. Very unique. <laughs> do you think anyone on my team's in the bottom? I mean, I'd say K. Just because I don't think it's American traditional, it's definitely more illustrative. If the challenge is American traditional, and everybody's looks American traditional, but one, right. I'm gonna do something that they can just look at and know exactly. Do you think that's gonna push your team at all? I'm doing and morph. That's what I'm gonna do. Show a little bit of everything. Yeah. You can't pull off a face. Yeah. Yeah. It's time for them to figure it out. What's Jeremy gonna do, man? Add spaceships and shit? I don't know. What's he gonna do? He's gonna not have excuses. Why don't you do your black so they can shit anybody want to? What do you think, bro? It's gonna be crazy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think my boys are gonna <laughs> but oh well. Finalists, you will each be assigned a master canvas and have a total of 35 hours to tattoo a back piece. The style and subject are completely up to you. Oh, 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 it's a wrap, son. But to win the title of Ink Master, it will not be that easy. Oh. You must also face off at the finale with one final six-hour tattoo. Oh, Every fighter needs someone in their corner. So for this fight, you must tag team tattoo with your coach. Oh. Oh, 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 oh my god. Bam! But that
that's not all. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh Why would it be, right? Your fate isn't completely in your own hands. Goddamn. The opposing team will determine the style and subject that you and your coach must tattoo. Holy Team Christian, what style and subject must Tony and Clean tattoo? Black and gray, realistic, woman, and skull morph. I don't do skull morph, lady heads, and black and gray realism. That's, it's just never been my strong point. But it ain't gonna trip me up. I learn fast. All right, the final six hour tag team tattoos have been set. Your master canvas tattoo and your tag team tattoo stand between you and $100,000. For the last six hours, the three finalists have been tag team tattooing with their coaches, and guess what? Their time is almost up. In fact, want to count it down with me? Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. The team's down. No more ink. All right, Tony and Clean, you're first. Come on up. This tattoo is really slick. I really like the way that you guys accent the skull, the top of the brow, where the actual eye is on the right side. It really puts a nice balance to the tattoo. The tattoo is really smoothly executed. Not only does this look like one artist did it, it's pretty rock solid. The detail in the eyes and the lips give it the beauty of the face. You also have enough of the skull in there to let the toughness of the skull show through without ruining the whole tattoo. And this thing is smooth as ice everywhere. Thank you very much. Tony and Tipper, the judges have decided. Tony, you have also earned a spot in the top two. To earn the title of Ink Master, artistry is your greatest weapon. Yes, we got that. Artistry to me is the ability to take a concept that's in your mind and put it down onto paper. It's essentially an artist's fingerprint. It's what makes you unique. And because art has no gender, your art must speak for itself. I'm cool with that. So today, your tattoos will be judged blind. <laughs> yeah. You'll have six hours to tattoo any subject in any style. Uh, so no excuses. I wanted to more focus on like a girl face morphed into a skull or something like that. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. We did it. <laughs> you <know>, right? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Oh, God. All right, guys, today we're testing artistry and we're judging blind. That's my favorite part of this whole thing. You don't know who did what, and this is completely as brutally honest as can be. Hope y'all ready for a long distance ass kicking. Wow. That was, that was a bad wow. That's cool. Oh, yes! okay. The line work here is great. Nice color palette with the purple, pink, and the blue. Great illustration at the drawing table and a strong finish. I think this is one of our girls based on the color palette. There are girly colors. Maybe Holly, maybe this is creepy Jason. I don't think so. <laughs> Next tattoo, please. Finally. One of the things I love the most is the front teeth, how they very gradually become less and less transparent as you get closer to the mouth. There is some nice shading in it, but that top bold line that goes across up there looks a little bit shaky. I know who's shading this looks like. If you say font, I'm gonna flip out. I'm not. Okay, good. Ashley's black and gray looks like this black and gray. Good job, Ashley. Today you're being judged on your artistry with a blind critique. Ta -da. There he is. There he is. The color palette on this, I thought one of the ladies did it. It's a color palette I generally use for tattoos on women. Let's move on to the next one. Fawn. What about the line up top? Was that something that had a hiccup and you had to hit it again? Honestly, yeah. Other than that, man, we love the tattoo. Today, you must tattoo an anatomical heart morph. Morph. Each canvas today wants an anatomical heart morphing into another image. Oh. You must use artistry to make the two images flow together perfectly. To win this competition, it's not enough to just be a technical tattooer. You must also have the artistry to draw appealing images. 
And these tattoos are a perfect test. More than the heart. Be interesting. Making two images merge together in the same tattoo is a very difficult thing. You really have to be able to make one flow seamlessly into the other. It's not something you can do unless you're able to draw. In this elimination tattoo, each of you will be tattooing against two other artists. Three artists must tattoo the same subject. One artist will win and two will lose. Wow. Damn. I'm excited about this one. Poor Duffy kind of just got stuck in the middle of two amazing artists going head to head. At this point, it's the first time Craig has ever been challenged by a real tattoo artist, and I need to put him in his place. Coming for you, Craig. <laughs> the tattoo's looking awesome. I'm stuck on it. Instead of just mashing the heart and the clock together, my goal is to make it look like the clock and heart pieces are made out of each other. I've gone head to head with Eric once and I lost. This is my chance to prove I'm a better artist than him. And Tyler has been doing boring tattoos, so I have to prove that I'm here to stay. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it, time is up, machine's down. No more ink. Oh, that's sick. Today, you had to create anatomical heart morph tattoos that show your artistry. Each of you tattooed against two other artists, and we will directly compare your work. One of you will win, and two of you will lose. Chris, you tattooed against Craig and Duffy. Your tattoo here is amazing. You went the extra mile with adding the flames. Technically, you obviously know what you're doing. Super smooth, super saturated. The outlines are great. The transition is really good between the grenade and the heart. You really got the morph idea and really ran with it. The artistry here is very well done. It's a beautiful tattoo. Thank you. Between Chris, Craig, and Duffy, we have to declare a winner. I look at these three tattoos, and I see incredible detail, incredible texture in Craig's tattoo. Just when I look at Chris's tattoo, it's just so night and day more dynamic. Chris. Chris. Winner of this head-to-head -head challenge is Chris. Congratulations, man. <laughs> Katie. There are some really nice little details. The gears are really nice. The hands are really nice. The morphing part, I was hoping to see more of where we're seeing the texture of one item transitioning into the other item, but it is readable. It does look like a mechanical heart, but you did something chaotic with it that is exciting to look at. You took a big risk with the design, which I think the other artists didn't do with their designs. You deconstructed the clock, and you combined it with the heart in a really cool way. Thank you. We have to debate a win here between Eric, Tyler, and Katie. I have to go with the one that I think is the most interesting, which is Katie's. Katie's is by far the most dynamic. Katie. Winner of the head-to-head -head challenge is Katie. Congratulations. Matt, you tattooed against Dave and Cruzman. This line is beautiful. I love the hair. I love the details in the whiskers, in the eyes, the textures that you got in the ventricles and the elements in the heart that are morphing out of this thing's head. You grabbed what the challenge was and you drew something. Every part of the heart, you fragmented and made it look to be a part of that lion's head. It's great. I love it. Between Cruzman, Dave, and Matt, do we have a winner? When you get really close and look at the details and look at the technical ability, it's clear that Matt took his time and did really smooth techniques. Go with Matt. I'm going to go with Matt. I have to go with Matt. Winner of the head-to-head -head challenge today is Matt. Today, we're testing finesse. For this elimination tattoo, you must step up your game and match your coach. Oh, my god. Coaches, you must each create a line drawing that you and the artists on your team will tattoo on separate canvases at the same time, giving a true head-to-head -head comparison. What? Coaches, the style and subject are completely up to you. So. You will have no input from your team, but your design decisions can make or break them. Artists fail to match the master, and you will be up for elimination. How are we gonna match our master when he's doing the drawing? 
he's gonna understand it. He's gonna know where to shade. He's gonna know where to put the details. You're basically coming into it blind. You will have six hours to complete your tattoo. All right, guys, head to the loft while your coach is designed. Okay, man. Kill it. I'm gonna do something that they can just look at and know exactly. Do you think that's gonna push your team at all? I'm doing a morph. That's what I'm gonna do. Shows a little bit of everything. Yeah. You can't pull off a face. Yeah. Yeah. It's time for them to figure it out. What's Jeremy gonna do, man? Add spaceships and I don't know. What's he gonna do? He's gonna not have excuses. Why don't you do your black so they can shit any way they want to? What do you think, bro? It's gonna be crazy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think my boys are gonna but oh well. I knew it. You don't seem excited, bro. Huh? You don't seem excited. No, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I'm ready to smack Steve right now. It's a girl's face morphed into a skull with like a little demon hand off the backside. Who else knows how to do this but him? Bro, congratulations, you is here. Just have fun, dude. I have to tattoo this weird ass design that Steve made, but you know what? I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna show finesse by adding my style and still making it match Steve's. I wanna make the tongue and the demon flow through the design. I wanna make the tears of the woman dripping through the whole thing. So that way I could show off more of what I could do. Rolling. I'm gonna fight Steve tonight. I think you should. This is probably the worst day that I've had this whole competition. Steve's design doesn't cater to his team at all. Is the chin supposed to connect to the skull? Like, is there no chin? Does it melt into the skull? I'm having a hard time, but I gotta stay focused, apply this tattoo well, and just hope it stacks up to what Steve does. What are they doing over there? Um, good. Totally different takes. Yeah, yeah. That's it, machine's down, time is up, no more ink. I was kind of nervous, but dude. That's dope. Man, you come up with a job. Today, you had to prove that you can tattoo at the level of a master. You were being tested on finesse. Team Steve, you're up. Rolly. You had a lot of questions to answer in this tattoo, and I would say most of them you did pretty well with. You have beautiful details in the eyes. The smooth skin shading you have in the girl, I really like it, but the demon itself, there's a couple of areas where the shading gets away from you, like from the bridge of the nose, just really flat. I wanted to give it a different texture. I'm, I never tattooed a demon before. Having to pull these textures and these looks with no reference, it's obvious that Steve's tattoo is the toughest ask for the team. Jeremy, the woman's face is beautiful. Where you lose me is in the demon. The demon to me is really tonal. It has kind of a messy feel to it, and there's some contrast issues. In the stuff that comes off the cheek, which would be a horn or whatever, that's a huge missed opportunity for some texture. But I like the additions that you made, creating this forked tongue down the middle and the drips that drip down over the skull. Being creative and adding to something is a great move. Let's take a look at the master's tattoo. Steve. You get so many different tones of dark, the really deep inset blackness in the eyes, and then those little dark pits of even darker, richer black. This thing really has a lot of depth to it. This has a ton of texture. You can feel what's going on in here if you run your finger over it. Giving this to your team made them step up. What was a true test? Only one shop will earn $200,000 on the title of Ink Master. Hell yeah. And for the first time ever, the title of Master Shop. <laughs> now standing in your way are the next returning veterans. They both competed in season six, representing Black Cobra Tattoo, Matt Oba and Katie McGowan. Two veterans that made it so far in the competition, it's a bulletproof team. 
fact, Matt made it to the finale once before. I made it through about 75% of the competition. Now that we're here as a team, everybody needs to watch out. No matter who's here this time, there's nobody that's gonna stop us from getting to the finale. We want it more than anyone else could possibly want it, and we have a point to prove. Matt, Katie. Good to see you guys, welcome back. Hello. Thank you. So how are you guys planning on working as a team? The things that I don't do well at, he excels in and vice versa, so we're just a really good match. Today you must show proportion with a classic art form that's over 20,000 years old. That's old. Relief sculpture. Relief comes from the Latin word for elevated because in this ancient art, a raised image is created. The whole basis of sculpting is proportions. You define the sculpture by its actual shape. For this challenge, you'll mix your own plaster, then apply it to an eight foot by eight foot canvas, layer by layer, to form your sculpture. Y'all, I'm a girly girl. I don't work in construction, so I don't really know what to do with plaster. Proportion is crucial, or your sculpture will be a mess. Okay. You have five hours, and your time begins now. That looks awesome. I love this. I was classically trained in sculpture. I've worked with plaster thousands of times and in much bigger quantities than this. Well, I sure am glad that you're the plaster expert. Me and Katie are gonna slay this. Let's win this one, how about that? Yeah. Black cobra tattoo. We felt like a bird would be a good way to show proportion. You do an excellent job creating the raised surface off of the board, because in these relief sculptures, anywhere that you can create a hard shadow through lighting, it really defines the image. The bird's in proportion to itself, so I think you guys hit the challenge. Thanks, y'all. The judges have decided that the winner of today's flash challenge is... Black Cobra Tattoo. Awesome. You have something that's in relationship to itself. I think you guys hit a home run on that one. Congratulations, guys. You'll have the power to assign all human canvases in the next elimination tattoo. We're gonna kill him uh, with the uh, skull uh, pick. Uh, of course we'll kill it. We know how to play the game, so this is exactly what we needed. Absolutely, I mean, we're coming in strong. Let's do this. There's no better test of proportion than what, Tommy? Than a pinup. A pinup. <laughs> You must tattoo your pinup from head to toe, including her hands and feet. Not only must the head, hips, and chest strike the right balance, but tiny body parts like fingers, eyes, and hair must also have appealing proportion. Pinups are one of the hardest things to tattoo. The face has to be the correct size, the hands, the feet, everything has to coincide with one another. And if one feature is off, you're gonna take a beautiful woman and turn her into an ugly beast. Black Cobra tattoos. I really like this tattoo. It's really clean, it's really simple, and it tells the whole story. I love the details in it. The shoes, the leather you have coming up to the top of the calves. Really, really nice, clean outline, no wobbles. Overall, technically, best tattoo of the day, by far. Thank you. All right, Chris, it's time to announce tattoo of the day. As far as I'm concerned, there's two really standout tattoos, Black Cobra and Basilica. I gotta be honest, if. Basilica punched in the color the way Black Cobra did. That's bulletproof tattooing. But I would argue that the proportions in Basilica are more spot on. Yes. My vote is for Basilica. I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna go Basilica because of the proportion. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Basilica. For this flash challenge, you need a steady hand because instead of using tattoo machines to puncture skin, you must use a drill to puncture wood. <laughs> Using different size drill bits, your design will be determined by the size of the holes you drill and the distance between them. I have used a power drill to hang up art on the wall, but I have never made art with it. This is just gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> Win, and your shop will have the power to assign all the human canvases for the elimination tattoo. You have five hours, and your time begins now. This is all gonna go very fast in here. I've actually created a special tool to be able to make perfect circles on our canvas. Those holes are all pretty equal. Oh, it looks really cool. Matt's gonna be doing a lot of work today. Does it look like I do woodworking back home? No. Let's do the exact same thing on the bottom. Katie is just sitting around, not drilling holes, not drawing holes, not measuring anything. Now introducing Katie. 
professional wipey girl. Black cobra tattoos. You've created quite an optical illusion. It actually does play with your eyes, which is pretty incredible considering it's a piece of wood with a drill. You show ultimate precision. Great job. We didn't come here to mess around. Yeah, we're in it to win it. They did circles. Good job, guys. The winner of today's flash challenge is Black Cobra Tattoos. <laughs> really nice concentric circles, and it had a visual effect that was hard to achieve. Good job, guys. This is the best day ever. Two flash challenges in a row. Seriously, you guys are just going to let us take this all the way to the end. Today, you must tattoo one of the most painful areas of the body to tattoo. Why? The armpit. God damn. Oh, I hate armpits. I don't even like my own armpits, let alone some random person's. Oh my god. Armpit tattoos are the worst. The skin is very sensitive, and it's very hard to stencil in an area that's completely creased. This is the pits. Everybody's armpit's different. If these artists are smart, they're going to do strong, simple outlines with bold shading and color and get out. I like that placement overall. I do too. Each one of these teams has a definite alpha and a follower. We are testing the divide, so both artists will be tattooing individually, and we're looking to see who excels. This is all on you now, buddy. You ready, ready? All right, girl. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. We are done. Yay. Good morning, artists. Yesterday, you tattooed your canvas's left armpit. Today, the opposite artist will tattoo the right armpit. However, you won't be working on the same canvas your teammate tattooed. The shops must all swap canvases. What? Another shop will be finishing what you started, and your shop must finish what someone else started, tattooing the right armpit. And why? Canvases, please show us your tattoos. Black Cobra Tattoo, which canvas do you choose? We choose Old Town Inks canvas. After looking at DJ's Hanya mask, I have no doubt at all that Matt's going to crush him. Hello, so, we're creeping. <laughs> I had an idea. I don't know if you guys are into it. You can watch our backs later if I give you that drawing. Absolutely. At some point. Absolutely. It's like stencil ready, like yeah. I have a stencil for you. There's some silly things going on in this drawing. There's definitely going to be some changes that need to be made. Fixing up my chopsticks. Yeah, I'm going to do a little different chopstick making that a little less confusing. It's completely driving DJ crazy that I'm making changes to his design. A lot of Japanese stuff's kind of goofy to me. I got news, DJ. You need to go back to school on Japanese. This week, you showed placement by tattooing a painful and awkward part of the body, the armpits. The judges will compare your work side by side with two artists. The artist who completed the armpit tattoo that you started and the artist whose armpit tattoo you completed. Let's see how you did. Aaron and Katie, you're up first. All right, Katie, you tattooed the first armpit. Both of these tattoos together, top notch. So I commend you guys for application, for style, for looking similar to each other. If you look at the subtle differences here in Katie's bigger flower, the red that fades to that peach tone is super, super smooth. And then the thin line is really nice and clean. And then if you look at Aaron's pink flower with the blue star in there, you see some wavering problems with the little thin line. Katie outshines you a little bit. She drew it. It's not a surprise. Katie takes it just with those tiny little bits of application. When you're this close, it's apples to apples. Matt and DJ, you're up next. DJ, you started off with the Hanya mask. DJ, I like this tattoo. I think it looks super sharp. But the crooked face does bug me. The fact that the nose is curving and going one way and the teeth kind of not lining up, it's like a new school rendition of a Japanese tattoo. If you're going to twist it, twist it everywhere. When I see these, it makes me cringe because it's not a follow through. Matt. The mouth is a little more legible. And I like what you did with the hair picks. No, I did make a few just kind of stylistic changes. But overall, you captured the look we want to see a little more in your rendition of DJ's drawing. Just in terms of overall aesthetics, we're going with Matt. Definitely going with Matt. The winner of this head to head is Matt. All right, judges, time to announce best tattoos of the day. I would go Matt and Katie over Christian and Nolan. Katie pulled off a really slick tattoo, and I think that Matt also, as far as technical application, he held up really strong. Would you say that one of these two tattoos is the best tattoo of the day? 
win, what would you? Cleans is really solid. And you know what? Aaron's is really good too, just Katie beat him. So this is a win and a loss, but Aaron's still looks like a nice, solid, clean tattoo. 100%. Win and a loss, but top of the pack. Both tattoos are really diverse coming out of the same shop. My vote is for Golden Skull Tattoo. Chris? Golden Skull. The judges have decided the best tattoos of the day go to Golden Skull Tattoo. Get ready for a fight to the finish line, because to earn a spot in the live finale, you must survive a tattoo marathon. Oh, that's a this whole competition has been a marathon. This could mean anything. You'll tattoo four different designs in four different styles, one right after the other. Jumping from one tattoo straight into another with really no time in between. It's gonna be a long day. Each shop will create one design for the marathon. Then, each shop must tattoo their own design and the three other designs created by the other shops. Oh, Damn, you slayed that outline so fast. Cool. Luckily, I tattoo geometric style tattoos back home on the daily, so I'm gonna kill this tattoo. Well, you got cleanest lines out of the group. Aaron would probably be the next closest. Crazy to do that in 90 minutes. You got it, lady. Next style up is black and gray, designed by Old Town Inc. What's up, guys? Exactly what I thought. Good luck, guys. It looks like there's a couple of purposeful mistakes. Like, is that pupil misaligned? DJ tried to screw everybody. This is a really scratchy looking stencil. What's up with these up circles? I get it, it's gamesmanship, but black and gray realism is my thing. I'm ready to go head to head with this guy and prove who's best. Curious to know if anybody else is pulling any of these effects. Oh, that's awesome. The Skin creases. Cells. Yeah. Nobody has seen me do black and gray realism in the house, and I don't think they understand how much I'm going to kill this. You have totally, like, knocked it out of the park. Three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. Oh, man, that looks so good. God damn. Next up is Illustrative Fantasy, designed by Unkindness Art. So, Ooh. there we go. It's like just a, a mythical creature. Yeah. This is as big as it's gonna be? Yeah. You have an hour and a half, man. Good gotcha. luck, guys. Look how funky all the line work is. If you set it up for everyone else to fail, and then you fix it in your own drawing, then it, you look like a dick. If you set it up for everyone else to fail and didn't know it, and everybody else fixes the drawing, you look then dumb. you look like an idiot. Yeah. So either way, everybody's gonna look like a dickhead or an idiot. Three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. On to the next one. And finally, American traditional designed by Black Cobra Tattoos. This oh, is the nice. American traditional piece that nice. you will be doing. All I can say is good luck. All you gotta do is make a super clean tattoo and get the job done. That's a monster piece. We'll see if everybody pulls it off. And your time starts now. Last one, brother. Hit him with the heat. Black Cobra tattoos. First up is Basilica's geometric design. I like this monochromatic take with tones similar enough to be in the same spectrum, but far enough apart to really create this 3D illusion. These color choices look really great. Old Town Inks, black and gray. Matt, I think the areas you put the hyper focus on are these eyelashes, the little corner tear duct, and then the small details that you have in the center of the eye really play nicely here. Unkindness Arts, Fantasy Illustrator. You made some positive changes to this design. The hairline looks a lot better. This hard inner bridge of the nose really gives the shape of the face. I really like how this one came out. Finally, Katie's American Traditional. Super solid, super clean tattoo. The saturation of all the colors, very nice, very bright. Definitely looking good today. If I walked into this shop and saw this portfolio, I'd be pretty stoked. All right, let's look at the head-to-heads. Who won the geometric? It's between Nolan and Katie. 100%. Obviously. I will say, for Nolan's behalf, that thing is solid. So is that your final decision? I'm going with Nolan. I'm gonna go with Katie on this one. The line weight on Katie's is a little stronger. I like it a little better. We're going with Katie. All right, so winner of the geometric head-to-head -head is Black Cobra. Next, Old Town Inks, black and gray. This one's a no-brainer for me. Christian gets this one. All right, the winner of this head-to-head -head is Basilica. Congratulations, Christian. 
Unkindness Arts Fantasy Illustrative. Again, very little debate on this one for myself. I go with Matt. I like DJ's color palette. That's my vote. I love what DJ did. I love the tentacles. But as an overall finished piece, I prefer Matt's as well. Congratulations, Black Cobra Tattoo. Finally, Black Cobra Tattoo is American traditional. The two to debate over are Katie and Christian, but I like Christian's a little more muted green and yellow versus Katie's grass green and gold. Christian, no brainer. All right, winner of the head to head on American traditional is Basilica Tattoo. That means we have two wins for Basilica Tattoo and two wins for Black Cobra Tattoo. But we came here today to put one shop in the finale. So is there a clear winner of the marathon? Both sides had definite great moments, and both sides had definite challenges. Let me ask you a question, Dave. Yeah. Is it too late to give them both a spot? You're saying let Black Cobra and Basilica go. I think both these shops deserve a shot in the finale. They're completely dead heat. Listen, I'll do it. F it, do it. No way. Basilica Tattoo, Black Cobra Tattoo, congratulations. You guys are in the spot in the live finale. Yeah. <laughs> Representing Black Cobra Tattoos, it's Katie McGowan and Matt O'Barr. Get in close and get a real good look. Katie, talk to us about this tattoo. Um, I love tattooing floral imagery. I love tattooing mandalas, so I wanted to showcase a style that I'm super passionate about, so that's what I went with. All right, all right. Black Cobra, please come on up with your canvas. <laughs> Tattooed by the stunning Katie McGowan. Chris, what are your thoughts? Well, Katie, I think this one you really hit out of the park. Your color play in this mandala, the richness of the colors and the juxtaposition of the cool to the warm really, really sets well. I love the balance that it has with the leaves. Everything you did on this tattoo is really spot on. It's one of the nicest tattoos I've seen you do. Thank you very much. You got robbed on season six. And I feel so, like you went home way too early. I totally agree. So we have a lot to prove. So we wanted to do Birds of Prey. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. For the color one, we chose a falcon. The torch is representative of like taking the wind, bringing it home. We really designed these to where you cannot tell who did what. And that's really telling of how collaborative we are as a team. Dude, yeah. that is sick. And they're going to look great together. I'm ready to bring the title of Master Shop home. I'm ready to put that check in the bank. The other two shops have a lot of talent. I wouldn't expect either one of them to drop the ball. But I hope they do a little. Yeah. I feel like these two back pieces are the best tattoos of my career. These tattoos are worth $100,000 each. And finally, Black Cobra. Ah! Step on up. We wanted to bring something that you couldn't tell whose style was more heavily influenced in it. We wanted to look like both of us had an equal influence. Well, guys, this approach that you took to this tattoo, these big, huge outlines, really, really strong, really graphic, really solid, strong, bold work. Where you guys, I think, come off a little bit at an odds is the filigree that you incorporate and the light shades and tones that you have throughout the tattoo. You take either a little bit away from the foreground or a little bit away from the background. You mask the work. Otherwise, bulletproof tattoo. I also agree that there's some contrast issues for me that I'm having a little bit of a tricky time reading it. But overall, this thing is put in there so technically sound that it's hard to argue with. Flawless. Cool. Well, Thank you, guys. Well, thank you. Black Cobra, you're up next. Come on down. And go ahead, reveal, please. Well, Matt and Katie. Well, guys, looking at the tattooing, it is flawless again. Both back pieces match. The anatomy issue here is the bottom wing. From the connection of the breast where the wing connects on the top wing, if you turn that over and look at the other side of that bird, the connections don't balance out. If you put an arch in that wing and then drop it, it would look a lot more dynamic and not as questionable. Really great job, guys. Love the tattoo. Technically, it's as it's, it's solid as it can be. And it looks like one tattooer did it, which is just kind of just unbelievable. And the color palette is beautiful. Thanks, guys.
guys. Today, you must create an aquatic tattoo. From coral and plants to fish, bubbles, sharks, and mermaids, aquatic tattoos are composed of a complex arrangement of many smaller elements. In an aquatic tattoo, placement is everything. Down in the ocean, there's a lot of next to a lot of If it's wrong, you the entire thing up. The only way to get back at Scott is to take the difficult challenges that he sets for me and knock them out of the park. You know what's awesome about your tattoo? What's that? Everything. <laughs> Don't let anybody tell you different. I'm not gonna lay down. I'm here to win. I've had a pretty good streak lately, so. Good. What's going on? Scott really screwed sausage. He's got a really tight, intricate design to do in six hours. That could be the downfall of him. Four hours to go. I definitely have win in my sales, winning the flash challenge. I know the judges got their eye on me. I know I picked one of the strongest pieces up there. I couldn't ask for a better canvas, bro. It's just f***ing excellent. I'm not even thinking like it's a competition right now. I'm thinking that I'm doing the best tattoo of my career. Scott, you're up first. Man, I love this tattoo. The placement is just right. What I like the most about how it fits the body is how soft the edges of the design are. It's a delicate, beautiful tattoo, but it's also tough and badass. I love the dark rings that you do through the background. This is not senseless background. This is background that means something, and this is a tattoo that we'd love to see come out of Ink Master. Thank you. Maddie. This is a very big, bold tattoo. My only real complaint is the big area of black above the whale. I wish you would have broken that up with a couple of layers of clouds. But overall, beautiful lines, beautiful shading, beautiful traditional style. This tattoo is very nice, man. Thank you. Sausage, how was it working with your client? It was tough. I really had to use a lot of different techniques to try to get him to trust me. Being a client, I go in with a lot of ideas, and I would want the tattoo artist to be able to talk to me and tell me, hey, that don't look right. But I think this tattoo is awesome. You captured an amazing drawing out of the gate. Way to really be an artist. Details are great. Placement is great. Not just placement on the body, but placement of the smaller elements within the tattoo. Super cool, man. Thank you all, guys. The judges have determined a winner. Maddie, Scott, and Sausage. The three of you have the top tattoos of the day. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Scott. This week, we're testing your adaptability. Adaptability is being able to do whatever the next thing that walks through the door is, and you never know what that's going to be. There's no better test of adaptability than a cover-up. Knew it. Called it. Cover-ups are tricky because trying to place the design over top of an existing design, you need to be able to manipulate that picture and put things in the right place so you cannot tell that's a cover-up. Tattoos are forever, and only about 15% of the people who get them regret their decision. Yeah. However, the number one reason for regretting a tattoo is a failed relationship. Your canvases today made that mistake, and they're counting on you to help them fix it. You know, when I saw that sketch, I was like, oh my god, this is going to be awesome. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's the type of effect I want to make. My goal today is definitely to outperform Scott and Maddie. Yeah, bud. Now, when the competition's getting tough, that's when I plan on shining. I'm gonna stomp this tattoo. Awesome, dude. Thanks, man. Halo. As far as the cover-up goes, you had it easy. But this tattoo has such solid saturation over a big area of skin, and whether it's a cover-up or not, this is a great tattoo. You did a great job applying this. This is soft tissue. It can get overworked. It can look beat up. Yours looks healed. Before we send you back to the loft, the judges have determined a winner. Scott and Halo. 
you have the top two tattoos of the day. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Halo. Halo, the saturation you used in this tattoo, the way you pulled off the solid fields of blue, very nice. Did a great job. Congratulations, Halo. Now, this real-life epic battle scene depicts what happens when a sperm whale and a giant squid clash head-on. For centuries, fishermen around the world have told legendary tales of a fictitious sea monster similar to the giant squid, the Kraken. According to legend, the Kraken wreaked havoc on tall ships and rum-running vessels and had violent battles with its natural enemies. Today, your canvases all want their own tattoo of the Kraken in battle on their hands. Hands? There's a long list of problems with hand tattoos. Some hands are gonna swell right away. You got veins, bones. There are totally different factors when it comes to hands. And you must work in teams of two, tattooing both of your canvas's hands at the same time. What? What? The Kraken must be in black and gray, while the enemy can be in any color. You must use contrast to make your design dynamic and the battle crystal clear. And for the first time, you will not be paired with your master or apprentice. You're gonna need some background to create some contrast. You know what I mean? You're not gonna have any contrast if you fill it up like that. Just follow my lead, man. I want you to do exactly what I say. It should be black. You know what I mean? Contrast, contrast, contrast. I know St. Mark can do contrast because he won't shut up. That black background will be the hardest contrast in the whole thing. I just want to go to Vegas. We don't have time to argue. Contrast. Keep that in mind. Shut the f up. Shark and tentacle kind of come together right there. So we want this tentacle to dip back this way. Eric's just working along with me. I'm just telling him, hey, do this, do that. I like to work alone. I like to win alone. I'm going to pull like a mid-blue around his head, and then I'll pull back the light blue so I reach you at the same time. I'm going to take the leadership role, whether he wants me there or not. One hour remains, final hour. What are you doing with the little suction cups? I am just putting a super light wash shading over them. I'm the female front runner in this competition. You think you'll have time to do a little bit of mint behind it? Yeah. I have to monitor Marissa's tattoo to make sure that we can win this. Holy mackerel. That one's got to hurt. You're going to do your tentacles last, right? Yep. So okay. I can see yours. Yep. Dave is doing the sperm whale. It looks like a shoebox with an eyeball on it. It doesn't even look like a whale to me. I think it's a nice little playful whale. He's gonna make me look like a fool up there. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. That's rad, huh? Awesome. We are done with this lady. What are St. Mark and Miami thinking doing two solid black hand tattoos on a soccer mom? That looks terrible. All right, artists, it's time to critique your work. Katie and Marissa, you're up first. I did the Kraken, Marissa did the shark. As far as contrast goes, I think the light highlights in the Kraken against the dark black, very, very nice. The shark is a little more rough. There's not a lot of vibrancy that really makes it stand out. Eric and Chris. A lot of contrast on both sides of the fence and very legible. It's one of the best drawn tattoos we see today. You created a whole underwater scene happening here. Very cool, guys. Miami and St. Mark, you guys are two masters. How was it working together? We really brought the best out in each other. Technically, they're two strong tattoos. You have some very dark areas to contrast with the tentacle section you have up in the foreground. St. Mark, I do like leaving that front tentacle with no detail and just having the small suckers all the way up. Very strong design. Craig and Tyler. Overall, they're strong tattoos. The shark really stands out and looks strong. A lot of contrast. My problem with the Kraken, it's hard to see what's going on. You overshade it so that you lose some of the contrast. Tyler's my apprentice. He did exactly what I thought he'd do. It's just flat. It's boring. Cruzman and Dave. I like these tattoos. They're simple and bold. The thing that's just bugging me is the ending of the whale on the knuckles. The eye is outlined and finished out, but the shading stops higher than that. That's bugging me. My part looks awesome. I could strangle Dave Clark right now. He is 100% taking away the chance of me getting my first skull pick. The judges have decided the winners of today's Flash Challenge are Eric and Chris. 
Very clear, strong imagery, mimicking each other's style. Very well technically applied. Thanks, man. Today, you must tattoo the Roman god of the sea, Neptune. It's crazy. Neptune is a merman, tromping through the water with a crazy-ass lightning storm in the back. One little slip of an eye or a lip, and this is not going to meet the challenge. Neptune is known for his temper and his furious rage. Many images show him blowing over ships, riding huge cresting waves, and causing chaos. God damn it. Neptune was the god of the sea. You have to make this look like he's moving in the water and make the water believable. David Marissa gave me a fantastic canvas. A lot of strategy on choosing what to do and having that skull pick is really important. You know, like go big or go home. This is exactly where I wanted to be in this competition. This is an easy win. Chris. Well, Chris, this is definitely one of the most dynamic layouts of the day. As far as the hair goes, it has that very Roman goddish kind of sculpted statuesque outline to it. And his face shape, everything looks the way it's supposed to be. The saturation looks great. It's a tremendous size tattoo for the time you were allotted. This is the type of tattoo I expected to see. Lots of movement, exactly what we're looking for. Thank you, guys. Eric. I think this is a killer tattoo. It's super dynamic, no doubt about who this is. I'm wishing that this trident didn't just vanish at the top. That part of it just makes it look a little unfinished. It's not tough, it's not strong. You didn't put your balls out there. I think I did put my balls out there. That's a big tattoo. But it's big with no purpose. Make it purposeful. Time to debate a win for the day. I like a lot of elements of Eric's tattoo. Really? I like the drawing, yeah. I like Chris's, it's bulletproof and saturation. And it's the most dynamic, I think. Final decision. Chris. Vote for Eric. I vote for Chris. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Chris. Thank you, guys. You must compete in a marathon designed to put your teamwork, strategy, and skills to the ultimate test. In each round of the marathon, you must tattoo a different creature of land, sea, or sky. And today, for the first round, you must tattoo a creature of the sea, an octopus. What? Six hours? A lot of circles, a lot of lines. Yeah. A lot of elements go into tattooing an octopus. All the tentacles, suction cups. Showing accuracy is going to be huge on this. You can't leave anything out. But that is not all. Of course not. For this round, you must rely on the strength of your team. Okay, we got that. As a team, you will create one tattoo. What? One artist must line. Oh. One artist must shave and one artist must tattoo the color. Damn, guys. Octopus in a jar. Who the f would think of that? You know what I mean? That's what we keep doing. We keep thinking outside the box. If you do the shading clean and smooth, if he does the lines clean and smooth, I can get wild. After this, it's accuracy. So, I mean, do we have to make sure that there's eight showing and like... That's the gamble we take. But I mean, like, we're adding things on top of They could probably beat us with straight up tattoo. Juan, just promise me that you're not going to do a gray wash. You trust me a little bit more because I, I know I'm going to do a good job. I okay. promise you. I what promise I'm seeing it. right now is not black. That's why I'm asking. That's why I'm going to do Don't give me the I'm question. Ju I'm just shading it. Okay. I'm going to ask questions all the time, and no I'm only basing it what I see. I have a lot of strong personalities on my team. Today, I'm being very hands-on. That glare in the eye, line it like a wash. Okay. Jeremy. Jeremy, don't bother him with that right now. He's got to get rocking. This tattoo is a marathon. It's just like running a race. If the first guy's lagging behind, the other two have to run even faster to make up the time difference. Do we need a line on this backside or? Nope, you're out. Unplug and get out of the way. It's like being in the car with your grandmother and she's doing 35. You're like, speed it the f up, please. Team Steve, you're up first. Who did what here? I did the line work. I did other shading. But Jeremy did color. It is like a breath of fresh air, man. Saturated color and then smoothly fade to that open skin. It has a really soft, really finished look. I do miss a little bit of the shading in the tentacle section. You guys look a little bit unfinished in that department. And the center of this guy, right under the eye, took a pretty heavy beating. When you were outlining, did you get him in the outline or did he get got in the shading? 
I definitely didn't see any dugouts at all when I did the line work. With these technical hiccups, it makes this choice pretty tough. Next up is Team Anthony. At the top, we see some prime examples of outline wobbles and the color in the top of the tattoo. It's not strong enough and not soft enough. It's simple, but it is exactly what it's supposed to be as far as accuracy goes. You have all eight tentacles represented. It has a very strong look from across the room. All right, next team up is Team DJ. As a standalone tattoo, it's interesting, it's compelling, it's artistic, it's creative, but you're competing against two teams that showed the whole animal on an accuracy challenge. We didn't take accuracy into that, like, Okay, how the size of the head versus the tentacles, none of this could fit in the jar. Come on. Dude, it doesn't fit in that jar. You can cram an octopus in a jar. You could if you chop it up and puree it. You're trying really hard to be creative. None of them are accurate to an octopus. So the one that fits the challenge the best I is get going it, to win. I get it, no, but it, I, you don't. it was it you wasn't an octopus portrait day. If it was jar day, I'm with you, bro. I'm, you I'm win. Just, I'm Pickle jar day, you get a trophy. I know they're supposed to have eight legs, but if all the eight legs are wrong, then you can't do that. Well, let's head. be honest. The, the I mean, fight is between Team Anthony and Team Steve. That thing's rad, bro. All right, it is time to pick a winner. Which team did the best tattoo of the day? Team Steve's out. Out of the running. Overwork in the center. I feel like Team Anthony has more accuracy in terms of anatomy. I agree with that statement. Team Anthony. The best tattoo of the day goes to Team Anthony. Congratulations. You are safe Ooh. from elimination. Today, you must tattoo mermaids. Oh, man. You must use artistry to seamlessly transition from the delicate facial features and hands of a woman to the intricate, scaly tail of a fish. Uh, mermaids have scale work, fins that flow, bodies, they're supposed to be sexy, and you have to do small faces on them. Ugh. This week is artistry. Show us artistry. We got this, guys. Let's go, guys. We gotta keep it straight. When we put it on, don't hyperextend. This week, the elimination tattoo is gonna be mermaid. Right there. Uh, it looks like it needs to go more. Hopefully, these guys have their understanding of anatomy. Is that good? Yes. Still in a good spot? Yeah. Hopefully, people understand what the bottom of a fish looks like. Hopefully, they can put them together. I like it right there. I think it fits good. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Deepening up that part, like you said. Okay. And then I brought a little bit more flesh tone in, not a lot. Okay. All right. Not enough to uh, make yeah. it weird. Yeah, don't get too crazy, crazy. The judges in Clean have been hammering me on going overboard in all of my designs. So I'm just going to reel in my artwork and literally let Clean take the wheel from here on. All I have to do is everything I'm told so that I can get to the damn finale. Dirk! Risky move to choose this pose, but you pulled it off really well. I commend you for not doing an archway that she's looking off into with a <laughs> castle behind it, because I know it was on your mind, I'm sure. Yeah. I really like the illustration of the hair. Shape of the body is nice. You keep a very consistent line weight through this, and the color saturation is really nice. Well, you guys said punch it up, man, and I'm listening. 100% my favorite tattoo you've showed us so far. Thank you. Best tattoo on your team. DJ. Beautiful work in the shading of her torso. Beautiful work in the face of the eel. Then you get up to this crown that's lost in a sea of just craziness with black shading and then a black background behind it. The background's not black, it's gray. It's not smooth. Doing this hair in this style on this part was a bad choice. I tattooed this way. It's just messy. How's that messy? There's blends in there that nobody else is gonna do. The problem that I have with the hair is simply this. The outline of the eel goes all the way back to the side of her head and behind her ear. It looks like the eel's wearing fur coat or whatever the f it is, this hair needed to come over the top of the eel completely, and that would have changed the entire look. There's areas of this tattoo that are phenomenal. If you can do that eel to look like that, and you can make that mermaid face that's the size of my goddamn pinky look like that, then just finish it out. Your backgrounds are gonna eat you up. That's gonna send you home. It's coming one way or the other, Christian, and that's no, the guy. I, I, I get you. That's probably who you should be protecting. I'm not gonna give you a background no more. You're getting outlines all day. All right, guys, who had the best tattoo of the day? Well, do you see anybody besides TJ and Turk? 
It looks finished, it looks clean, it looks saturated. TJ's tail is better than most tails. The face is better than most any face. I need a final decision. My vote's for Turk because I like Turks, but it's also sending a message to go simple. You're right there. I'm going with Turk. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Turk. Nobody knows your strengths and weaknesses better than the artists who competed alongside you all season long. And today, they are calling the shots. Bob, Angel, Jarrell, and Kelly, you'll choose the style and subject that Jimmy must tattoo. Oh. Wow. Is it style and subject? Style and subject. This is crazy. Bob, Jarrell, Kelly, and Jimmy, you'll choose the style and subject that Angel must tattoo. And so on and so forth. All right, Angel, what will Jimmy tattoo? A color realism jellyfish. Color realism takes so long to do, and a color realism jellyfish, I'm not sure it can be done in six hours. Challenge accepted. All right, Jarrell, what's it gonna be? A fine line, black and gray, realistic lionfish. So fine line only? Yep, no shader. A lionfish is covered in stripes, has crazy pectoral fins that are all frilly like seaweed, and also has these spiny spikes on its back. He's Every view of a lionfish is a hard view of a lionfish. Just look at the anatomy of that thing. It's just a camouflage piece of seaweed. Let the fun begin. I'm screwed right now. I have to learn a new technique in tattooing. I've never done any fine line black and gray in my life. Mastering a technique, you know, at the same time as tattooing it is a pain in the ass. You feel confident about this one? I don't know. It's kind of intimidating. It will get a little bit easier soon. Everyone's been underestimating me through this whole competition, and this is my chance to shut everybody the f up. I'm gonna take a style I've never done before and go into this thing with confidence. I gotta kill it. Bob. For a single needle tattoo with no other shader, you do a really clean take on this thing. You captured the look of this fish by the shape of the body. It has a roundness to the body of the shape, and it's because that highlight you left through the stripes and how rich the darkness gets. You totally kill it in this tattoo, man. Thank you. Good job, bud. Thank you. It's a rough one you guys threw at me. Jimmy. The top of the jellyfish, you capture the look of what's going on. But then you come down, it's hard to follow your ribbons and your twist and your turns. I wanted to have enough color play in there to show, you know, movement. You could have put a little bit more darker shades on some of the tentacles so you could follow where it's going. But a lot of things you hit here are really strong. And I also think you hit a color tattoo like we haven't seen you do so far in this competition. Thank you. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Bob got called out on something that most people would really blunder, and he killed it. And everything in that tattoo is cohesive and finished and applied properly. And for that reason, I'm going to go with Bob. And my vote is also Bob. Congrats. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Bob. Wow. And you were worried. Oh, I was. Yeah. Congratulations, Bob. You have earned the first spot in the finale. <laughs> Shit. Look at you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm really happy right now. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's move into your tattoo. Seems like you've embodied your character in this competition. It's good for the supervillain to come out and pound one back at the heroes. Whether they like you or not, they gotta suck it up and beat it. Today, you must create a Star Wars tattoo. Remember, we're testing for contrast. Your design better pop or you'll be headed home. You have five hours to tattoo and your time starts now. Love it, I love it, absolutely love it. Clint tried to trip me up a little bit on this one. My subject matter is pretty limited. I'm doing a white clone trooper with the Imperial cog as the background. That is the coolest thing in the world. I come up with the idea to make the cog a viewport into space. I'm using that as a window to kind of showcase that contrast. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, here we go. The judges want a masterpiece and I'm going to deliver. These aren't the droids you're looking yeah. for. <laughs> Oh, 
I pick Easy Street, something that I can demonstrate what the judges are looking for in the right amount of time. I would like to win once. You know, what's gonna look cool is the fact that you got all like these dark colors up here when you do the red. That's gonna stick out like neon. That is the plan, my friend. <laughs> okay, this guy's all red, so I'm not gonna do his whole body. I'm gonna do like the upper part. I'm gonna have the Death Star ship in the background with the lights and the atmosphere to create that contrast. Without it, I'm <laughs> Now I think I know why Clint gave it to you. Would you piss him off? Kay's okay, gonna screw himself over. I don't need to help him out on that. I think I might be biting off more than I can chew, but if I don't do one of my best tattoos I've done, it's gonna be a battle for the bottom between me and Mark. Two more hours. Hey, Jamie, if I were to fill in those gaps with the color, what color would you recommend? Would that work? A purple? I wouldn't get too dark against that black and that red. It's gonna have to be something that's gonna pop, like a light blue, light green, light yellow. I wouldn't go dark purple. Mark needs to work on his color theory for sure. Everything's turning out really, really dark. Yeah, that's what's gonna make him pop. I end up not listening to him because I think the purple creates enough contrast to get that helmet to pop a little bit. This is what the is up. Clint, you are up first. Tell me a little bit about this design. The natural color of the character is red. So I had to use every possible means to create contrast. This is a very smooth tattoo. You added a couple extra tones in your darkness of the red, which I think is nice. What I think would have been a little nicer, from the purple to the red, you kind of lose a little bit there. You don't really add much contrast to that. It just kind of gets so dark on that one side of the face. Going across the middle of the face, you didn't use that contrast to make that nose and that bridge and those wrinkles all stand out. There's not any highlights or real hot spots to make it not as flat. It's contrast day. That's what I'm picking out of. It. Realize that at this point in the competition, if you do 90% of a good tattoo, but that 10% of the tattoo that you lacked on, that can get you gone that day. Okay. How do you feel about the canvas that Clint assigned you? For what it is, my guy loved it. He spent more time than I've been alive dressing up as these guys. What I mostly didn't like is he's all red, so I gotta put something behind him. You didn't detail this thing out. You could have showed these wrinkles and this cloth to look like fabric, to give that contrast, to make this thing look real. Doesn't have drapery feel. Looks like he's wearing lunch meat. That's one way to look at it, but one thing I do wanna add is that these guys, they do one thing. They stand there. They have a little more detail than your tattoo does. Mark. So last week you had a little bit of a rough go. How do you think you did this week? I feel like I did okay with the foreground. The background probably could have done a little bit better. Those colors, man, those are no-nos. Side by side, especially in a graphic way like this, it's not gonna work out. Purple is a mean, nasty color, and this is one of those times where it is hurting you. I've known all this before, but I've been so far removed from it and just thinking I could autopilot on this because I've been doing it for so long. This is a good wake up reality slap, man. Hard head gotta feel it to believe it. I feel it right now. Autopilot's not where you wanna be, man. Just saved your ass. Sarah, what did the client ask for? He wanted the Imperial cock with like the trooper in front and he didn't even want all this detail. What I did was I showed him my stuff and said, this is the direction I wanna go. So from that point on, I was like, yes. We hounded on you for putting too much white in things and using too many light colors. And this is what we're talking about. The colors you used in the armor to shadow it, it looks dimensional. I took what you guys said to heart and I used a lot of skin breaks. And what I did to show the white on that trooper was just from the contrast of the darker colors. That use of contrast in a very insignificant part of the tattoo is very impressive. You have six hours to tattoo your canvas with a badass supervillain and your time starts now. My canvas wanted to get dark side from feet to head. It's not possible in six hours. This tattoo is probably the absolute hardest one that's out there. Okay. How would you feel about doing that face that we have? Can you show it to me again? Yep. My idea is to do the head up with glowing eyes, a more dynamic looking picture anyways. Would you be doing it in the background or would it just be the face? I would try to get the background. Okay. It's $100,000, we're gonna do it my way. I was getting ready to tattoo myself at that point. She said no, you know. Really? Yeah. All right, you ready?
I definitely want to try and beat Jimmy. He sneaked out the win last time. It's almost like traditional, which is kind of the cool part of this challenge. I need to be consistent in reproducing the actual comic reference. Definitely have to change these needles out to something smaller just to do what we're doing. If I can nail this tattoo, then I might have a chance to win. I take what I do know of Poison Ivy and create my own version of what this character is. I don't necessarily know that new skills ever gonna come up in the challenges, but I figure this is about the closest thing that I'm gonna get to really, really put it out there, so. This is my style of tattooing, so for me, I'm in a good running to win this challenge. I'm super stoked. Four more hours. This is what I'm booked out for months and months and months doing is these beautiful portraits. I really want to show the intensity of this image and the character of Bane. I'm just excited to show something that I'm really, really comfortable with. This thing's gonna look awesome. They're all gonna be shocked when I win. What Joshua is doing, it's more to the realistic side. This is a comic book challenge. If something looks too realistic, you automatically deserve to be in the bottom. Anything realistic, you know, I love it. The fact that the challenge is consistency. I'm gonna tattoo this thing like you ripped it off a comic book page. To all this, a single needle. Being so meticulous with these lines is taking me forever. I have to cut this piece in half, or there's no way that I'm gonna finish this tattoo. There's a lot of lines. I'm not gonna do all of this. It's not a problem. Tattoo Baby's doing some really weird <laughs> with cutting the body off, and I definitely don't see how she can talk <laughs> to me about my artistry and then cut this guy in half. Tattoo Baby should definitely be going home. Two hours remaining. My canvas really wanted to have a background. I should have just kept my foot down and said, I don't have the time to do it properly. I hate doing bad jobs. My background's not gonna be finished. At this point, I'm kinda hoping someone else drops the ball. Because he has a fresh scar going across his left leg, I flip the image and put it on his right leg instead. A face should always face it. 15 minutes remaining. Once again, time is of the essence, so I rushed the damn tattoo. Wish I had a little bit more time to blend things out. This sucks. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. You are done. Holy <laughs> That's exactly like the picture. <laughs> I love the way this looks. It's badass, man. It's badass. It's not sick. Wow. Love it? I love it. I really do. He screwed the pooch. He did not follow the challenge. He took a comic book style tattoo. He did a beautiful new school tattoo. Okay, Jimmy, did you come here just to get more new school business or did you come here to compete? Kyle, you're up first. The attention to detail that you put into this face is fantastic. The use of the black creates enough depth and enough contrast to where you have the blue and the green transitions to the fiery red in the eyes, to the orange, to the yellow, and it looks great. Where you get challenged again is your background. That black oval that goes around the outside takes my eye away from what I really want to be looking at. There's this balancing act that you have here where you're trying to get a tattoo done in a certain amount of time. I made it a size that I thought I could get it done and still get the background she wanted. Yellow on pale skin, you gotta have a lot of contrasting color to make that yellow stand out. That's your consistency issue here. But I think you did a great job pulling out a lot of highlights and showing the details in there. The glow in the eye, very nice. And the little shines of red that come around off that. Just the fact of how consistently round those are, that one little trick is hard to pull off. Thank you. Joey. Your attention to detail, wow factor for me. Along the legs, along the sides, to see you ink on your canvas with the scissor hatching, the style that I'm familiar with from comic books, I was pretty impressed, because it's hard enough to do it on paper, and you're pulling it off on skin. I didn't really know until I started how much time that was gonna take. Yeah. So I was like second guessing myself at some points. We're trying to judge consistency. This is the perfect example. Every line, boom, 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 boom. This is very tedious amount of detail you put in this thing, and I I applaud you for it. Thank you. Jackie. 
You have a lot of beat up line work in this thing. You jacked it up because of the very thin, weak outlines you did in the face, it doesn't look solid. It looks too weak. We've been battling line work all along. Not all along. Chris, it's no disrespect to you. No, I'm just like... saying. It doesn't convey comic book inking, it conveys a scratchy line. Consistency. You made a major alteration to it. It's backwards. You flipped it, therefore now he's burned on the opposite side of his body, so you're basically altering this pseudo history. It'd be wrong to do that, for sure. Didn't even think about that. Jason. This is probably the cleanest tattoo we've seen from you. There's a lot of great consistencies in this tattoo that we've seen lacking in your other tattoos. I'm starting to feel the flow here and feel a little bit more comfortable getting rid of some of my anxieties when I'm tattooing. I'm the opposite of Ollie. Your saturation, color-wise, does not stack up. These transitions from the blacks to the blues and the very washed-out orange do not do it for me. I always think that there's room for improvement in every tattoo. Your consistency in your application is not going to stack up against these guys today. Joshua. Seems like you've embodied your character in this competition. It's good for the supervillain to come out and pound one back at the heroes. Whether they like you or not, they got to suck it up and beat it. It's a really nice job. Overall, this being DC Comic Challenge, I think you really captured the essence of this character. This smooth shading, all that black and all that deep shadowing that gives the shape of the wrinkles in his forehead. If you can do that's this complex and make it look this good, then why are you lagging? You should be able to do this quality on everything all the time. Thank you. Tattoo baby. How are you feeling this week as opposed to last week? I guess I feel a little bit better because I let it out. Well, what you did here, I love. I think you came back really strong. There's some incredible detail, especially in the hair. Those teeth are really, really beautiful. The question I have for you, why does it just end the way it does like that? I had a little bit of issues with time, doing all those little lines. If I would have gone any lower, then it would have brought down the quality of my tattoo. The way his body's cut off, it's such a harsh, straight line. Great job, though, overall. The texture in the jacket and the small little fine details with the very fine lines that you used look great. Jimmy. The big mark that you missed today is comic book. You went and did something in your own style. There's a guy who draws poison ivy. I think it missed the mark. She should be a seductress. She's not drawing me in. I don't draw it every day, so that's your area. Well, that's why I'm here, I assume. You missed in capturing the essence of this character. Bottom line is I'm 100% happy with what I turned out. This is a game. This is not a comic book tattoo. Today, DC Comic Day. Your tattoo should look like a comic book. I executed the tattoo, I did what I did, and I stand behind it. We know you can draw. What you have to prove is that you can outgame these other chumps, man. The key to this thing is seeing all the parts of the challenges. Today, you better be on your A game because you're tattooing the toughest test of technical precision, a color portrait. This isn't something that's easy. If you can't technically tattoo the shadows and the precise lines, it's not going to look like the portrait, plain and simple. But that is not all. You must tattoo colored portraits of characters who are recognizable to millions of fans all over the world. X-Men. Sweet. Oh. I can't screw this up. Or fans around the world are going to go, what the hell did you just do? Let's meet your canvases. Bishop, I want it on my calf. You thinking about doing full body like that? Yeah. If you get that body, you're going to lose all the detail in that face. Well, now I'm getting worried. The face is too small. I just, I can't do it, man. I'm kind of freaking out. This is impossible. My canvas is being really difficult, mm. and I have no idea how I'm going to change his mind. What's going on? Are you good? We're good? Come over here. I want you to meet the man. What's up, man? Is this too small? I would never do it that small, ever. You're never gonna get a good tattoo out of that. So what I personally would do is I would do this stuff. You're saying I should just do is the face. Yeah. Like, I would even pull them back. Mm -hmm. Like, move these dreads over a bit. Melissa's asking Halo how the hell to do a color portrait tattoo, and he's just doling out information like it's government cheese. We just want to get you the best you can get. Being a nice guy is not going to win you, Ink Master. Are you down with that, dude? Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. I love you forever, Halo. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
You have six hours to tattoo an X-Men color portrait, and your time starts now. Okay, let's do this. When looking at a color portrait, you're looking for it to be an exact replica of the photo. Therefore, everything has to be precise. The eyes have to line up, the shading on the nose has to be just right. You have to capture every little essence of the face. Yeah, dude. Can't wait, let's do it. Going into this challenge, I was really nervous, but we're getting through this tattoo. I'm really actually feeling pretty good about it. My character looks how he's supposed to look. You're doing awesome. Yeah. I feel pretty confident at this point. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Machines down, no more ink. Melissa, let's start with you. Melissa, there's a lot of good things about this tattoo. Number one, it does look like the actor. Where you fell short is that contrast could have been upped a lot more to give this dramatic look that it needs. I can tell in this work that if you did 50 of these, you'd be a nightmare for the people standing behind you. Thank you. King Ruck. You did the helmet straight out of the comic book. It looks like an illustration, but inside the face, you did a realistic color portrait. It made for a strong, bold tattoo that still has the aspects of a portrait in it. You took the comic book approach, but you still did a nice job. You just didn't listen, but you did a nice job. Bubba. You didn't capture the likeness of the person. This whole side of her head looks like it's the wrong shape because it's highlighted different. I've never done blue, anything really. Mixing blues and that kind of thing is pretty difficult. Knowing your colors, that is tattooing 101. Six hours, Bob. If you can't sit, hey, if no, you can't good, sit through good. it, we're gonna have to tell you just stop it. We're gonna no, have no, to go tattoo it, ourselves. Go for it. Go. I'm, I'm good. I don't mean to be like that, but it's serious to us. It's like 200 grand. I'll suck it up. This kid's chewing his arm off. He's shaking. I'm about to lose it on this canvas right now. Today, you must create pixelated tattoos. Pixelated what? Damn. Is there an instruction booklet for pixel tattoos? I have no idea how to make one of those. A pixelated tattoo is taking an image and breaking that down into individual squares and individual colors. They take forever, you do. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down. Time is up. Holy did it, man, holy Here, let me kind of wipe some of that goo off of there. Not bad. Should have loaded that shotgun before you took fire at me. I nailed it. You did someone else's mermaid with squares around. Oh, it. yeah. I don't think yours fades out perfectly where you can see it and back feet and everything. You know what? Those don't even look straight to me. We'll see. I also didn't talk my canvas into a tattoo she's not going to be happy with. She's super happy. I think she might have cried. I would have cried, too, if I had that on me. <laughs> Today, you had to show precision by creating pixelated tattoos. Let's see how you did. Josh. This is a smooth tattoo. Definitely, you get the idea that this realistic image is turning into pixels and fading off into nothing. When a room has a rough day and somebody just puts out something clean and nice, it's like, whew, word. It's a good-looking tattoo. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. I am 100% with Josh because Josh went the farthest mile to pull off the look of what the ask was. Honestly, leaning more towards Jason just because it's so precise, all these details. I love the little bit of face. It just came out beautifully. For overall readability, my vote's for Jason. The for judges sure. have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Jason. Today, you must tattoo outer space. Dude. I'm totally freaking out. I've never tattooed space before, and there is no beginning or end to space in general. I don't know how I'm going to pull this off. Outer space itself is the ultimate darkness, but objects in space are visible because they're either creating light or reflecting light. Without contrast between light and dark, your tattoo will be unrecognizable. Deep space is black 
and achieving contrast is really tough. You need to be really creative or it's going to be a blobby blur. Three hours to go. She has a zero black in it, dude. Yeah. It's outer space, bro. If you don't have black, you have contrast. Yeah. My strategy is to just keep winning and solidify my spot in the top five. My report card is great. I've been winning Tattoo of the Day, Flash Challenges, and I've never been in the bottom. Today you had to show contrast by tattooing outer space. Gian, let's start with you. I think that this tattoo is great. Having this figure in the primarily light spacesuit in front of the dark background, there's no better way to show contrast. One of the things that's troubling with a lot of outer space tattoos is it just ends up with the big areas of black that kind of don't come out that smooth. You did a very minimal space background, but you still have enough black against the outline of this white suit to give the contrast. The details, the outlining, and the creases of the suit are very precise. Nice, soft, smooth shading in all the wrinkles. Overall, man, it's super clean. You definitely hit contrast. Thanks, guys. Nate. First thing about the astronaut is that he just looks a little deflated. It doesn't look like there's really somebody in that suit. Looking for contrast but avoiding black and space, the light source that you put into the suit is really close to the background. So your front shoulder and your hand closest to us in the focal point really blends with the background right behind it. Going apples to apples with Gian, yours is much simpler. I think he gets you on his application, his texture, and his contrast. Today, you must tattoo reflections. Not only must the reflective surface be perfectly executed, you must capture the depth and detail of the reflection itself, or the illusion will be lost. And let's meet your canvases. Like a color realistic astronaut helmet reflecting an alien on the moon. Aliens aren't real, are they? An astronaut and his helmet is a reflection of the Earth crumbling. Me and Tiffer are both doing astronaut helmets. Let's see who can do the better astronaut tattoo. I'm up for it. It's gonna be a long day. The beauty of this is that it forces a head-to-head -head between him and Tiffer, and everybody knows Tiffer just knocks him out of the park daily. You better bust out some detail, because, uh, ah, nah, you're all right. Never mind, don't even worry about it. Because for the amount of detail that Chris put in his tattoo, you can pretty much quit now. Chris is doing an astronaut helmet, very similar to mine. The thing about Chris is he is skating middle of the road, but he's doing consistent tattoos. He's the only other person in this competition that hasn't been to the bottom other than myself. I want to make sure that this tattoo puts him in his place. As long as you do your bulletproof, we're safe, man. It's just clean. Thank you. I've been doing simple, to the point tattoos. That's what keeps me safe. Interested to see what Tipper does with his. I thought he was gonna go a little crazy around the design. He might be still a little shooken up from the last patch that we did. Hey, right. he knows. Uh. We're getting there. My canvas is moving and is in pain. I feel like my leg's gonna fall off. We got this. I got most of all the little detail stuff and the bulk of the color done. My life depends on finishing this tattoo. Oh. We're almost done. If she keeps moving, it's not gonna be clean, which is almost as bad as not finishing. All I can hope for is that somebody else the bed. Today, you had to use detail to create a reflection tattoo. Tipper. Definitely would be hard pressed to have somebody look at that reflection of the face mask and go, Mother Earth blowing up, got it. Inside the mask, it's pretty illegible. I don't know what the is going on in this thing. Nothing looks punched in like your tattoos usually do. This red doesn't really look saturated like your color usually does. But I do see it as a reflection. I like the design of the helmet, so I think that there are some strengths in this piece, and I also think that there are some problems. Chris. It's a pretty bold, simple tattoo. Simple on the detail. You do have some bright colors. You do have a lot of contrast. It's just a little bit stale. It's a little bit of a boring tattoo. Today would be one of those days where I would have liked to have seen somebody really go for it. You're just trying to get by. It's got detail from top to bottom. No, it's just if you're going for a win. I'm not criticizing the tattoo, just the effort. Like, go for it. To earn one of the two remaining spots in the finale, you must first survive one of the most intense challenges in Ink Master history. I'm ready. A 13-hour tattoo marathon. 13. <laughs> Holy shit. 
glad I'm sitting here safe. Tattoo shops across the country celebrate Friday the 13th by tattooing hundreds of clients in marathon sessions with designs chosen off flash sheets. Each of you must create your very own flash sheet with five different designs. Each design must incorporate the number 13. Oh man, it's crazy. Tomorrow, you'll have 13 hours to tattoo as many canvases as possible. Crazy. But there is a catch. Of course. Your canvases can choose any design from any of the artists. Jesus. <laughs> you'll be judged on how many canvases choose your designs, how many tattoos you complete, and how well you tattoo them. We're looking for quality and quantity. Oh my god. 13 hours. 13 hours ahead of us. I'm excited. I'm ready to get started. Which ones are yours, Angel? I did the little lady torso. Cool. Space dog, the eye, frog reaper, mm. and the crescent moon. My strategy is just to make sure that people look at the board and they want my tattoos. That way, I have one thing on the boys. OK, artists, you had 13 hours to show us quality and quantity in this tattoo marathon. And your time starts now. Which one do you want? The dog. The dog? Yes. Cool. The hardest part about this space dog design is that it's a bunch of perfect circles. It's time consuming. This first canvas is taking up almost an hour and a half of my time. I'm Isabel. Jimmy, which nice one are you thinking you. about getting? This guy. Cool. I've never felt so much pressure in my entire life. That's it for this one. I love it. Free to go? This is not at all how I wanted to start this marathon. Which one do you want? I'm liking this little bulldog guy. OK, we can yeah. do that. All right. I am like between these two. It's OK if you don't want a space dog. Like, it's really fine. I, you don't have to get it. I'm going to go with this guy. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I want to finish as many tattoos as I can, but it's going to be rough if I keep getting these Space dogs. Do you have any tattoos? No, it's my first one. First tattoo? Yeah. You can get this space dog? Yeah. Man, thanks for doing my first tattoo. Very, very honored to do it. Angel, Jarrell, and Jimmy, you had one last chance to prove you deserve a spot in the finale by surviving a 13 hour tattoo marathon. Based on your work, Two of you will move on to compete in the finale, and one of you will be eliminated. Let's see how you did. Angel, out of everybody's flash designs, your designs were chosen the most. Awesome. All your designs look very nice. It's not surprising that a lot of people chose these. But you create images that are not as easy to recreate on the fast. Doing tattoo designs that could be done quick would have been a little bit better. Let's take a look at the tattoos that you did. In 13 hours, Angel, you completed 11 tattoos. Your line work is pretty clean on almost every single one of these. Obviously, your first space dog is the worst one. The dog gets too black, so it's a little bit illegible. The third and fourth one are the best ones. You kind of figured out better ways to do it as you went. If you didn't do five space dogs, you could have done more tattoos. I think I was the only one who did the space dog, ironically. All right, guys, time to determine which artist has earned the second spot in the finale. I mean, Angel did the most complicated ones. You can't judge her down for doing less tattoos when she did arguably just as much line work in the tattoos. Yeah, if I would have done that dog five times, it would have been flawless. I mean, if you slowed down a little bit, you might have done less tattoos, but you know, you might have had richer saturation on some of them. I don't think you really have a room to talk here. Angel did five of those space dogs. That's the most time consuming tattoo. And consistently, her line work is super clean on all five of those. Her outline is the best outline consistently against both of you guys. I agree. My vote for the second spot in the finale is Angel. The judges have decided, Angel, you have earned your spot in the finale. Oh my god, yes. Me and Bob, let's do it. Congratulations. Thank you. Christian, as the returning veteran artist, it's on your shop to prove that you deserve to be here by overcoming your weaknesses. And in Christian's honor, you'll all be judged on ingenuity. Now, there's no better test of ingenuity than a new school tattoo. Woo! That's in my honor. I can't believe they smacked me with this right out the gate. I absolutely hate this style. I think this is for children and coloring books, not for tattoo artists. With bright, saturated colors and crazy proportions, these images are known for their creative view of the world. 
New School, it's hard. You have to take something that's boring and flat and make something that you haven't seen before. My time to shine, baby. Your shop will create one tattoo on the same canvas. Yeah. However, this time, one artist will tattoo for the first three hours, and the other artist will tattoo for the last three hours. Doing a new school tattoo in a competition setting can be difficult because there's a million styles in new school. Like that? Just a little bit more, boom. These artists are gonna have to use ingenuity because we've seen it all. We're looking for these guys to come out and be original and take a swing at having fun with a piece of art. All right, you ready? Yeah, six hours, Bob. If you can't sit, hey, if no, you can't good, sit through good. it, we're gonna have to tell you just stop it. We're gonna no, have no, to go tattoo for it, ourselves. Go for it. Go. I'm good. I don't mean to be like that, but it's serious to us. It's like 200 grand. I'll suck it up. This kid's chewing his arm off. He's shaking. I'm about to lose it on this canvas right now. What's she working on? I'm drawing just in case you can't sit <laughs> and we have to tattoo each other. I'm not gonna leave on you. All right, all right. <laughs> I've worked so hard in my career to get to this point. If this kid sends us home, I don't know what I'll do. Five, four. Three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more in. Woohoo! Finished. Dude, that looks phenomenal. You got through it, dude. I told you I get through it. Yeah, man. <laughs> Today you had to prove your ingenuity. Old Town Inc. I love how vibrant the space and the background of this thing is. It's just enough to let you know what's going on. That shows ingenuity. Space is tricky, man. You did it right by leaving a lot of this open skin in astronauts, so you use that contrast to your benefit. I love the way the tattoo ends. It doesn't end the same way all around, but it just has a very fluid flow. It's a killer tattoo. OK, guys, time to announce tattoo of the day. For me, there's two that stand out, Old Town and Unkindness. The best thing of the day is in unkindness. The eyes, the purple wrinkles, but I don't like the green swirl. In the Old Town tattoo, the way this background was done, that looks really good. I like the really dark background against the light suit. Yeah, that black gives this thing that believable dimension. I'll make it easy. My vote is for Old Town. Old Town it is. <sighs> the judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Old Town Inc. Today, you must create an animal tattoo. Remember, we're testing dimension. If that animal isn't leaping off your canvas, you'll be going home. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Oh my god. Yeah. My canvas wants a portrait style jaguar. You know, I'm super stoked about it. It's perfect. I'm gonna show a lot of dimension. This is the exact design that I need to win. Hopefully the pain won't be that bad. <laughs> I don't there wanna be go. that girl. Three, two, one. Time, that's it, machine's down. No more ink. Oh, that's nice. Wow, definitely what I was looking for. <sighs> I mean, I like it for what it is. I am so freaking upset. Like, words cannot explain how I'm feeling right now. I know that having an unfinished tattoo is going to send me home. That's it, it's done. Bye-bye, tattoo baby. Steve. This tattoo is solid. It has all the right skin breaks. This is what I want to see. This one's much better than the last one. The detail is unbelievable. The way the shoulder is turned and you kept it light up in the front, you really got dimension. This is exactly why I am the way I am. When I give you so much it's because you can do this. Maybe some of my ideas don't work as well as others, but some of them you just have such a solid idea and it works. Great job. Thank you. Tattoo baby. How are you, doll? Still kind of stressed. I didn't get to finish the tattoo. I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do. I had about an hour left when she felt better. It's unfinished. Enough of this tattoo got done for us to judge what we need to see here today. The little textures of the fur, where you can tell the direction of the little hairs, the way you put the solid black where it needs to be, the multicolors you use to show dimension is really, really nice. You had so much opposition from your client being sick. You pulled off all kinds of cool tricks in here. They definitely didn't want to give you a boring tattoo. The white highlights were key for you. The green eyes are beautiful. I cannot believe this is the same person that did the first tattoo. <laughs> 
for week one. Holy shit, you have turned it around immensely. Really? I'm happy to see that you did this quality job. It's really nice. <laughs> The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Steve. This tattoo could have won many different challenges here in this competition. This thing is really strong. The detail is great. The heavy black makes this thing really stand out. Thank you. Today you had to use dimension to bring animals to life. Each of you tattooed head to head with another artist and we will directly compare your work. One of you will win and one of you will lose. Josh, let's start with you. It doesn't necessarily look just like what the mushroom explosion is. It looks like something else. To bear wearing a hardy hat or a bear in a lava lamp. Simple fact is it creates cool imagery. Do you really like probe every artist that paints something and say, why the hell did you put that in? You just look at it and go, hey. No, but every artist that paints something isn't in this competition either. I wouldn't go doing all this extra frilly if I was you. You're the guy who can come in and do a legible, readable tattoo and get the out. Choices you make make things much more difficult to just go, here you go, clear win. Clean. You did a really good job with the texture and the fur here. I like what you did in the back, behind the ear, that dark area. I do actually like it dark because you feel dimension and some perspective. Overall, it's a really fierce and ferocious animal. Good job, man. Thank you. Face off between Clean and Josh. Let's pull the judges, see who won this head-to-head -head challenge. I'm going with Clean. Clean. I will also have to go with Clean. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Eric. You went head to head with Jason. I see some areas that aren't complete. Drop shadows around the leaves. Some of the white on this character seems to be inconsistent. Having some trouble around the chin. Just doesn't look like you're done. It looks like you can go back in there with a liner and you can finish. Jason. This is a really dynamic tattoo. I do see dimension here. I like the white highlights that you use to create fur. It feels fierce, so I think it's pretty cool. The way that you got the hair to really look like that on the bottom of the chin, it's a great job. You're doing those little things that separate you from the pack. Both great tigers, but Jason's is cleaner and tighter. Eric, yours just looks incomplete, so I have to give it to Jason. I'm gonna go with Jason. Jason. Jason, congratulations, man. Yes. Taisha. You went up against Emily. How'd you feel about that? She just doesn't know when to stop running her mouth. Well, this time you guys were able to have a head-to-head -head competition, maybe squash that. I'm really into the way that you were able to get dimension with this shading on the side of its face. The light, smooth blends and fades that we see on this tattoo separate you from a lot of people in here today. This is a great day for you. Emily. It just really looks unfinished. This is light beams shooting through a jungle. It's a little crazy. You didn't give us anything in this to look at on a technical level. Everything is painterly and sketchy, and this does not look like you want to be around. This is not the last of me, I promise you that. Gorilla against a gorilla. Taisha. I'm gonna go with Taisha. Taisha. Well done. Thank you. So you have six hours to tattoo a living animal and its skeleton as a team, and your time starts now. All right, get these stencils made first thing. Today we're testing consistency. We're looking for the skeletal structure to be exactly the same as the actual animal's position and shape. But reference lines on both of his legs so they're both perfectly even. This is the first time these artists have to work as a team on one tattoo. So this team dynamic better be sharp at this point. Something is off. Then the eye has to go into the socket, the nose has to fall in the right place. This is a huge problem. The feet aren't fitting in the body. Now we have to start completely over from scratch. Fame, you might have to take that over. Which one? He's still but Jesus. Gary Gentle wipes. Make sure it's smooth, not like patchy. That's a super light. Changing so they, the light source? Not changing it, but ma making it. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think the biggest problem on our team right now, it's nobody in my team can keep up with my style, so this means I need to dumb down. Obviously, I'm not happy about this. I hate it. Switch again. Three hours to go.
there? Tribal black. Off tribal that. Black? Tribal black. Yeah, get black. Get darker? And you don't even have to go far. I can't. I was just... Uh, okay, yeah. Josh is always trying to be the coach. He's sending me on errand runs. He's making design changes. This is not going well. Can you just bring that tail up a little bit more? I know that's going to be one thing that they're going to say. I think that's crazy they would say it, because that's not the way it would be. It's proportionately shorter. If it was a male saber tooth that had a dick on this side, it's not going to have one on that side. It's the same thing with the tail. There's one thing I hate is disrespect, and especially to someone who's coaching you through this competition. Team Steve, you're up first. Well, guys, I think these tattoos look really, really slick. Y'all really hit the challenge of making it look like one artist did this. On the skeleton side, I like the outline of the entire fox with the color blend. The orange is just painted in there thick. The one thing I'm not a super huge fan of is the position. It looks like maybe he's limping. You could have made a much more dynamic tattoo if it was running or even crouching and sneaking. On paper, the face was a lot more elongated and had a lot more fox look. That snout just did shorten up a little bit, and now it kind of has more of a cat face. Where I think you guys get a bit of a challenge is the actual black and gray shading in this skeleton. The one thing I said is don't overshade it because it'll get muddy. You can see it in the skull, it's a little more buttery than on the bones because there's just really no place to really try to work it out. With all of you guys, somebody could have gone and fine-tuned all of those pieces, and it would have really set in a lot nicer, a lot smoother. Team DJ. I could look at this cat and I can't find areas where it looks like one person outshined the other or one person couldn't keep up with the other. I like the color palette. I really love the choice of going with the red bones. It gives this side of the tattoo a little bit of weight. From a design aspect, I think you could have moved a couple of body parts to make it look a little more fierce. I wish the mouth was open, I wish it was roaring. I wish that front paw wasn't in the way of the fang. I also wish you would have captured a little texture in the fur. It kind of has that seal, walrus type look to it. The actual anatomy gets a little confusing in the way it looks. You see how long the forearm of the red skeletal side looks in comparison to the forearm and where the bend is on the musculature side. From wrist to the elbow joint, they're not the same distance. Team Anthony. I mean, five artists means more styles you had to curtail to look the same. And I really think that you hit the challenge of making it look seamless. I love the shading and the way it really gives the bones dimension where the right side is back and more shadowed. You really see that depth. If we go to the other side, you did a really great job putting meat and flesh on this skeleton. It looks really believable. I love the dynamics of the classic Rams butting heads. I think that was a great way to set this thing up. Looks really strong. There's a couple of areas with a little bit of a shake. These back legs are one of them, but you guys are a great team working together as a whole. Judges, which team had the best tattoos of the day? This is the best turnout we've had. Consistency is really strong in all three of these tattoos, and all three of these tattoos also have really great technical precision. I feel like everybody listened to the challenge. All of the teams looked like they're comfortable tattooing together. I love the red skeleton, but a little bit different positioning. Could have made it a little bit more clear. Team Steve's, I love the fact that they went straight illustrative. One of the shortcomings is the shortness of the face of the fox. Everybody's got a few little hiccups here and there. Team Anthony has probably the least amount of hiccups. Not only just consistency, but the dynamics of the drawing, the balance of the pieces that fit the body. I'm gonna go with Team Anthony. For a not very dynamic piece of subject matter, which is the Ram, this is a very dynamic, very strong way to approach this. Team Anthony. The judges have decided the best tattoos of the day go to Team Anthony. You have six hours to tattoo an animal portrait, and your time starts now. You want to put the stencil on while you're standing over here? We're doing animal portraits, working directly off a photo. Whatever animal they're doing, it all has to line up and be perfect in comparison to the picture. Tony, put it on the back. Mm -hmm. That's the only place she wants it. Making it this far in a competition like this is tough. Anything can happen in these final tattoos. If you're not at your best every day, that could be your last. I'm an artist at the core of everything that I am. I've always been creating my own work since I was an apprentice. I'm not copying a photograph. Looks great, but are you feeling on time? 
All right, a little pressed, but... Because you've got to make that match that quality now. Yeah. I think I'd simplify the hell out of the face. Cool. This thing is taking forever. And I have the smallest tattoo. Tim better get done or he's in big trouble. So slow. It was painful watching a goddamn stencil. He, he peels them off just as slow as he tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> TJ. This gorilla has kind of an innocent, soulful look to it. And I really do think you captured that look. This tattoo definitely shows a lot of hyper detail, precision in the face. Every wrinkle is so magnified. I like the choices that you made here to leave this nose really stark light and not overshade it so that it illuminates the face a lot because it really brings a lot more light to a very dark subject. It's strong. It's very legible to what it is. Definitely my favorite tattoo I've seen you do. I appreciate it. Tim. It's gone. Smallest tattoo of the day, but man, you hit it right on the head. That dark black fur texture like that is really hard to pull off. You've got a lot of different tones in this tattoo. Solid black, a little bit lighter, all the way down to your softest grays. The details are amazing. Precision was key in this. You show a side of you that's probably really scary for the back line. This is what we're looking for here, someone who can do everything. Appreciate it, guys. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. For me, a runaway train is TJ. The pits of the nose, the pits of the eyes, the wrinkles, you can touch and feel that tattoo. TJ does a great job, no doubt, but I am personally leaning towards Tim. Both these guys really killed it. Tim really makes some smart choices on how to do that dark fur. I mean, he went above and beyond. My decision is Tim. What? TJ. I'm going with Tim. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Tim. Yeah, I'm very shocked. Like... Would you like to explain to us why we're wrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, artists, you have six hours to tattoo a Japanese crane. And your time starts now. Let's do it. It's always like stress, stress, stress while I'm drawing, and then as soon as it's time to tattoo, I get really excited. Cranes have big, long wings that can propel this big, heavy bird. Long beaks, long necks, and strong talons on long, skinny legs. Yeah, I like what it looks right now. Composition here is going to be tough because people ask for suns, they ask for scenery, but less is so much more in Japanese tattooing. I'm good with it. Okay. I think we're going to see certain people take off and certain people never get off the ground. Ready? Yep, yeah, let's do this. Party! You all right? Yeah. I feel like a lot of people are really confused right now, like we have to do Japanese tattoos. They didn't really specify if they wanted it traditional or not, because yeah. the tattoos are a little bit different than the art. They only said Japanese crane, and the only reason that they said it's Japanese is to determine what type of crane that we were going to be tattooing. It doesn't make it a Japanese tattoo. I feel like I really targeted the people that I wanted to target. I could definitely kill two cranes with one stone here. Yeah, it's the last five, and... I'm a major competitor in this house. Like, nobody's been able to, like, really stump me up yet, you know? Oh, shit. Is that why they gave this to you? Is this the most painful spot? Ah, uh, they gave it to me because it's a painful spot, and you asked for a lot of things. I did, really? I love tattooing so much. It's one of those things where I can just shut out the world. As a child, I used to just go to my room, shut everybody out, and I would just draw for hours. It was my outlet for a lot of emotions and pain that I had to deal with. <sighs> Bob definitely screwed me over hard, but I'm not gonna let your shot land at all, buddy. As far as what I know how to do in tattooing, Japanese is the one that's still cloudy for me. I can't afford to show anybody in the room that I don't know what I'm doing. I have to act like I'm cool. How does it feel to be the last girl standing? I grew up fighting constantly, fighting boys bigger than me. My dad owns a martial arts school, and I spent pretty much every day of my childhood there. When I was four years old, I was breaking boards with my hands. You have to punch all the way through to succeed. This is no different. I have to trust 
fact that what I'm doing is going to carry me through no matter what. I have to be fearless. Now I'm not afraid of anything because I'm like, I've been outmatched my entire life, you know what I mean? That's where you get your grit from, you know? Yeah. Three more hours. Three more hours, guys. A lot of people in this competition would try to avoid the chest. It is a pretty difficult area to tattoo just based on your canvas breathing. It can make it feel like you're tattooing on a rocking ship. You feeling all right? Yeah, it looks really awesome. Your lines are really good. Thanks. There's no room for error, so I'm moving like molasses. Do you think the lines are too thin? I don't think they're too thin. I'm busting my ass to get to the point that I'm at in this competition. I've never been parted. Nobody handed me shit. I want Tattoo of the Day so that me and the Midwest have the power to vote someone from the West down to the bottom. We gotta send one of these mother home. One hour, one hour remaining. Oh, I got a lot to do. It's hard to see the forest for the trees when I'm this deep in the weeds. I'm gonna do some just like light black and gray wash to build out those clouds a little bit, and then we'll put the yellow in the beaks, a little bit of color in the eye. 50 minutes to do all of that. More than enough, right? Yeah! <laughs> Swimming in extra time. Uh, There's a feeling of fear and doubt that comes with being targeted. I hope I didn't up any bird rules that I don't know about. The whole point behind Bob's skull pick today was to keep me busy, and he did. If I go to the bottom, then Bob did his job. Four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. All right. Wow. That's amazing. Stressful day. Yeah, from here, it's absolutely awesome. I was worried we weren't going to finish, but I'm glad we did. I feel like I did two cranes today, because I did two cranes today. Yeah. But like, that means that each one of my cranes, I get half as much time to do and half as much time to draw. Right. I don't know how it's going to all stack out. Out of everybody in the room, I felt like I went pretty simplistic with my illustrations because of, like my brain was like, don't over-illustrate it. Is that not all right for traditional Japanese? Should I just do this? I'm not going to lie, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> What happened to, where, where's the old judges? Ew. Yeah, <laughs> who are you supposed to be? I'm an Emmy Award winning host from another huge reality television program. I would have guessed that. What are your thoughts, bro? This is not gonna work. I'm really disappointed because I really wanted that pillar. Just the pillar or is it everything else too? My canvas doesn't want to work with me. He doesn't give a This is not what we discussed at all. It is what we discussed. No, it's not. not. It's not what Here, we discussed I'll get the, at all. I'll get this. this is not the picture. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. I will tattoo myself to stay in this competition, but the last thing I'm going to tattoo on myself is a demon. Being a new man of faith, that goes against my religious beliefs. When I look up pillar, there's this kind of pillar. Is this what you're kind of hoping for then, too? I was kind of hoping that you would do it. I can't let him walk out the door. Sausage. I gotta admit, when he said gargoyle, I kind of rolled my eyes like, oh, boy. It just sounds so corny. When I saw it, I was pretty much blown away. There's a lot of layers to it, and it looks like stone, but it has movement and action, and the perspective is odd and different. It's pretty amazing. Thank you. The dynamic hand that you have in the foreground is a really nice touch. All that really heavy shading, but with the nice skin breaks, makes it very legible. It doesn't get lost in the background. Overall, man, it's a good job. Sounds like Halo and Scott's attempt at throwing you under the bus may have backfired, huh? I'm hoping so. Well done, man. Thank you. I am so nervous right now. I'm sweating this tattoo. How are you gonna do a portrait if you don't have an actual photo of a zombie? This is gonna be nuts. This is a first for me. But it's gonna be awesome. Cross your fingers. Oh my God. Clean, can't do this. So I guess it's just gonna be comical. So I'm excited to see how funny this thing's gonna come out. Oh my God. This is a big tattoo, and I'm gonna take it down to the second. Jesus Christ. Come on, come on. 
on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna make sure that every single T is crossed and I is dotted. Oh my God. There is no way I'm losing this. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, machine's down, no more ink. All right, man. Get on up, you haven't even seen it yet. No, I haven't even taken a look it. at it. That is awesome. Nailed it. Sick. Billy, clean, in St. Mark. Today, you had to show precision by tattooing a zombie portrait. Clean, we will begin with you. Hitting the challenge, you show a ton of precision. The really dark, deep set eye sockets that are all destroyed really look great against that green. And then that milky covering is a really smooth, cool trick to put over that eyelid to make it look all washed out and creepy and crazy. The cracking of the skin on the nose, the torn away piece of her face, the blood dripping is very well done. For not being a portrait person, I think you did a great job capturing the likeness. I'm standing right here. Like, I know exactly what it is. Exactly, right? The problem with these yeah. things, people get so crazy, they muddy them up. I have the best coach for this challenge. At home, I would cover this thing in blood. But here, I don't know if I would. We have a huge advantage. You know, this is Steve's <laughs> This is what he's good at. You'd be doing nothing but scary <laughs> like me now. <laughs> it's fun as <laughs> There's a big sacrifice to be here. Sacrificing time with my kids. They're my motivation. The way I feel right now, nothing is going to distract me. Nothing that's going to stop me from achieving my goal. Fame. There's a lot of great technique in this thing. The deep inset cuts and cracks of the face look like a vampire getting hit by the sun and cracking and dying. Dynamic features, man. I think it's really smooth. I'm happy as a pig in I'm known for tattooing dead stuff, bloody, gory, demon-like. I mean, this is the best stuff I do. I'm really super happy about this. Everything you do is a horror flick. Look here, Doug Horror. Point to Steve. <laughs> Steve. I like the way you layer. You can see it in the undertones. You do a really dark area, almost a field of black, but then you still get this darker layer behind it where you really add the texture and you really make those little pits. The real look of depth you get in the eye socket in the back of the mouth really make this thing stand out. We're looking for texture. This is texture. It looks solid. There's a cover up in there? What? I think the girls underestimate my ability as a tattoo artist and gave me the realistic skull because they wanted to see if I could do it. I could do this with my eyes closed. Thanks, girls. Home run. My parents are off the boat. You know, I'm first generation American. I come from a long line of artists on my dad's side. Like, my, if you go back to Italy, like, everyone in my family is an artist, you know? They support me in everything I do. I feel blessed. I think that's so important. Huh? And I just hope I can do the same for my kids. This badass tattoo is being done here. Pawn. What up? Hey, guys. I love this thing for the simple fact that it looks like a straight up tattoo. Can you kill this thing with simplicity? I love the ghostly image in the mirror and the way that the cameo looks. As far as hitting a cover up, as far as making a sticker, as far as somebody not knowing what's there, you're able to really hit a softball out of the park. I hate him. I hope he goes home. Stop. So I wanted a black and gray graveyard that I'm like wrapping around down here. Um, if I could take like a space, like your form, that would be great. There's about seven people left. I'm trying to do the best tattoo possible. All I need is a canvas that'll trust me in doing some really cool I trust you, of course. Cool. That's awesome. I'm excited. <laughs> Steve thinks that he gave me a hard skull pick, but I talked my canvas into moving that tattoo from her ditch to her forearm. I am so confident on this tattoo. All this you get mine, because those are just solid chunks of black. Yeah. You know what I mean? Keep yeah. that edge really clean. Cool. I'm ready to step up and show I'm as good as the top guns in this competition. Deanna. I love this tattoo. The fact that you used this coffin shape as the border, that really sets the mood. You already know that there's something dark going on. Your ability to get this gritty, soft, smooth texture from the black to the gray shading has that black and white horror film look to it. It looks really smooth. The way the trees break into this image and spider across the darkness is really cool. And the composition is, has a really nice balance to it. Thank you. 
stakes are so high right now, there's five of us left. So I'm gonna make this most badass Grim Reaper you ever did see. Brad, I don't ever get to do black and gray, so it's fun. Yeah, I like doing stuff like this. I'm bringing a lot of creativity to this design. I have the perfect contrast, the perfect composition. I'm gonna win. Jason. How did you land on this view? She wanted something more creative, so I thought, well, let's just make it look like it just took somebody's soul, and it's reveling in the power of that. You took a big risk on the angle of that skull, but you really nailed the contrast with that soul escaping. It breaks it up really well, and then you have some really dense, dark areas that make it work with that soft shadow coming through. I think you did a great job. Thank you so much. I'm really impressed. It's a beautiful tattoo. It's telling a creative story. You thought about what the Green Reaper was and reaping your soul, and you hit the nail on the head with the creativeness. I just cannot wait to see what Ash has to say to me. Here we go. See? It's, it's the undertone you have to look out for. Oh. <gasps> look who it is. Uh, if it isn't America's best teammate. The girl with nine lives. <laughs> I see we still have a little bit of a grudge, huh? I just don't like the person that you are. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You threw me under the bus the first chance that you got, and now you want me to just forgive you like everything's cool. It's just playing the game. This isn't friend master. I'm not trying to make friends here. Well, you didn't make friends, don't worry. Look at that face. Just a mean frown. Game aside, I'm just the type of person where I have morals and I go off that. I understand that, but unfortunately, it just doesn't get you anywhere in this game. They're talking about morals, like, as a person. I mean, this is pretty deep. Well, there was pretty it's deep. It's definitely yeah. a personal I mean, grudge, for sure. Let's this go settle yeah. this and get it going. Let's find out what's actually up. <laughs> I did what I did. There's no going back. That's great, Alexis. I'm glad that you're proud of your decision, but I stand by my morals and... Come on, fireballs. You better get ready for a big old competition. These guys are gonna sit there and whine all day? Man, you guys got some beef. I'm just the type of person where I'm gonna stick up for my team and my girls, and she has not an ounce of that in her body. It's a game. Am I wrong? This is a game. I played it. There's always two sides of every story, so you guys wanna throw down? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. We are giving you the opportunity to settle all of this. We're gonna throw at you a 90-minute face-off tattoo, head-to-head, -head, just you ladies, where we get to pick what your girls will be tattooing today. Total level playing field, no bullshit. Oh, damn. 90 minutes, that's not enough time to do anything. That's not even enough time for me to put my hair in. Whoever wins gets a huge advantage. You're going to be able to choose either the style or the subject matter that the both of you have to tattoo in tomorrow's mm. six hour grudge match tattoo. I'll take that. Well, this is a huge advantage. I can really set Ash up for failure. If I pick something that she is not comfortable with, that could get in her head. And the winner of that grudge match ends it all. Buries those skeletons and ends this grudge. About time. We'll talk to you. I mean, what do you think we should give him? I feel like it's a cat fight. And we should do some cats. 90 okay. minute cat tats. 90 minute cat tats. All right. Go get them. Come on. Why aren't you yeah, guys drawing yet? I tell you right now, this is going to be insane. I think they're going to throw down. You think? Let's see how you do without your precious team. I just don't understand why you're talking to me. In our second grudge, season 10 Zen Master Coach Anthony Michaels saw his team taken out by the cunning strategist, Josh Payne. If there was a talk master, it's all you. That silver tongue, it's not working today. I'm on the same platform as you, so don't walk around here like you're better and bigger. And now, Anthony's out for revenge. Look who I'm going up against. I had to bring it. All right, I mean, this is pretty crazy, guys. Two Ink Masters have beef. It doesn't get any more epic than that. Oh, I'm excited about today. What are these guys even arguing about? Well, the thing is, is Josh is really good at manipulation, and that's a skill in itself. Yes. Anthony is a gentleman. He likes to play by the rules, vary by the book, and Josh is throwing all these tricks at him, and I think Anthony's just like, whoa, 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 what rule book are you following? That's where this grudge stemmed from. This competition is full of adversity, which is what I was brought up from. I'm here to help all 
of you, be the best you that you can be. In this industry, a lot of people, even though there are competitions, they tend to kind of shy away from it. So when they see me come in being competitive, they're like, oh, this dude's just an asshole. It's like, no, nah, man, if there's a prize to win, I'm gonna win it. I push buttons and it worked. I'm still here and I'm gonna keep fighting. Then we're gonna gun at you. I'm gonna do everything I can to shit on your world. That's just the way the game goes. This grudge match is all about revenge. One of my biggest goals is to show Josh, you don't have to be a dick, you don't have to be loud. Look, we're here to tattoo. I really want this shop to be relaxing, balanced, comfortable, a place of positivity. If this was a yelling match, Josh might have the upper hand, but that's not what we're here for. I'm gonna let him run his mouth, I'm gonna do a badass tattoo, and I'm gonna give Josh a run for his money. Do your shoulders hurt? Because oh. you just got to carry the weight of that, that crowd. How many times do your clients come in and they're like, you're not as big a dick as I thought you were going to be? They all say that. I won the title of Ink Master kind of on a question mark. A lot of people think I won with my mouth and not my work. This will be my chance to really prove how good I am and the fact that I deserve it. Back again. Look at the Man. loafer. He's going on a cruise. People that rock those don't give a They don't. Oh, Mr. Payne. Look who showed up late. Come down here, let's have a conversation, like adults, if you know how to do that. I'm not good at it. No? I know. I know you were hell-bent on taking my team out, and your strong point was this mental warfare. I'm the best. I knew I was the best. I came in to win this whole thing. I am who I am for a reason, and I do what I do. As I told you then, and I'm gonna tell you now, you're screwed. Anthony's calmness is a bit intimidating. It's a whole different kind of mind trickery. I'm representing all those artists that should have taken you out. I'm here to finish the job. Let's go. All right, all right let's get in there. One last wolf to take out. That silver tongue, it's it's great. It's not working today. Yeah, boys. Uh-oh. Look at this hey, matchup. Hey, guys. This should be interesting. This is epic. I mean, I wore a fancy shirt today. It's gonna be a bloodbath, man. I'm not representing just myself. I'm representing my team. I have a lot to lose. I took out his entire team, and there's one last wolf to kick out of the pack. Honestly, may the best man win. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna even the playing field. No one has the upper hand. We're gonna give you guys a 90-minute face-off tattoo. All right. Where we decide what you're gonna be tattooing. The winner of that face-off tattoo gets to pick the style or the subject matter for a six-hour grudge match tattoo. That's big. That's a big game changer. And whoever wins this six-hour grudge match tattoo settles the score, ends it all. That's it. <sighs> I haven't done a small tattoo in years. Well, like, today's the day. Like legitimately, yeah. I talk for 90 minutes a tattoo. Like, when am I supposed to work? Definitely going to take this to the wire, then. I think it's safe to say. <laughs> what are we going to give them? How about we let them surprise us? What do you like mean? What? So like don't pick like anything? They're Ink Masters. I'm down with that. The worst thing you can tell me to do is, is anything, anything I want to do. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's the biggest challenge. <sighs> you guys don't got much time to draw. You want to start drawing? That might be a oh. good get, idea. Get to work. I'd be gone. I'd be like, gone. Good luck, guys. Ooh. Oh, man. Let the Wait. tournament begin. Oh, man. Oh, what do I do? I mean, I'm surprised you're, you're a little thrown off. Problem is, I got too many things in my head. I just got to rein myself in a little bit. So it's not idea master, drawing master right now. It's tattooing, and that's when I'm showing up, bud. We'll see. We will. All right, fellas. You guys ready to get this started? Yes, sir. Born ready. Anthony, cool, calm, and collective. Shh, walk in the park, baby. Josh, you got the jitters out? I'm good. You got the duct tape? That I can't promise. You guys get to do whatever you want in this 90-minute face-off. Your time, it starts right now. Let's go. Check that out, dude. I like it. Looks good. <laughs> this is going to be a cool tattoo. Anthony Michaels and Josh Payne, man. This is two Ink Masters. This 90-minute face-off tattoo, it's to get them back into the game. All right, man. Let's do it. Hour and a half might take a while if you're, you know, watching a movie. But in here, that clock ticks. In art, apparently, you're not allowed to be competitive. Everybody's like, why does it got to be like that? I go, yeah, I, I want to win. Exactly. Josh is like that dog in the neighborhood that just barks. I got thrown every single curveball they could have thrown. And at this point, if I got to take out the coach, yeah. I got to do what I got to do. All the time. Time to put an end to the reign of the wolf pack. All right, Ash. Alexis, you guys got 90 minutes to do catty tatties. You ready to get this cat fight started? Absolutely. 
All right, let's tattoo. Oh. You ready? Ready. I'm doing a black and gray realistic cat portrait. I'm gonna do it nice and small, but still make sure that I focus on the details. The fact that I get to do what I want to do, I feel confident. In case you didn't know, that's what a real tattoo machine sounds like. Sorry, I can't hear you. This is what I do every day. This is what I'm good at. Alexis is gonna learn today. Hello. Already? Tell me about that. A 90-minute tattoo can throw you off way more than you realize because you could do a design and it looks like it's small, but if it has a lot of detail in it, that's where you have to realize as an artist what are the most important things that need to be in this tattoo. My biggest concern is just making sure that it's technically solid as hell. Fastest tattoo I've ever done in my life. All right, we are already down to one hour. Only 60 minutes left, ladies. Hi. How's it going? Cat tax. 56 minutes, huh? Yeah. Ash is doing a portrait. A portrait in 90 minutes. Doing a cat portrait in general is tough because all of the fur and texture. But in 90 minutes, I mean, that's insane. It looked like small and easy to do. You have got to get a move on, baby. I know. 90 minutes just goes so fast.